All right. Yeah. We're on. Yeah. Let's go. We're on. Let's go. All right. We are live. We are. Excellent. <laughs> so, like you all know, we're going to start out with a bit of a prologue, then get into the main meat and bones session, and then we're going to have a little mm-hmm. epilogue at the end. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's so, go. I'm ready. <laughs> for the prologue, last time, Sylvana was at the Wandering Library when she met Avard. And Avard did his best to kill her, but she proved too slippery for him. Bye! Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Um, but that encounter was a terrifying encounter because she is a god. Mm-hmm. And Avard is, or was anyway, human. At the very least, he's mortal. So the fact that he was able to put her in such a bind on his own scared her. Mm-hmm. Now, the thing is, when she went to the Wandering Library, uh, she convinced Skeksis not to come along, only by agreeing to let him keep a, divine eye, keep a divination eye on her by scrying. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So when she got home, he had seen the entire fight. And when she got back, Skeksis had the entire place packed up and ready to go. Mm-hmm. So Savannah has been spending the last hundred years running, mm-hmm. jumping from plane to plane, world to world, sometimes floating in the void between worlds, doing everything she can to hide, cover her trail to get her, to keep Avard from finding her. Okay. But uh, Skeksis has, dropped, has mentioned to her a couple times that defense and running is no way to win a fight. Eventually, she's going to have to face him. And when she does, he wants to make sure she's got a weapon that can help her out. Nice. Well... Today, you are on a desert planet with five suns all glaring down at you. Anybody not involved with fortifying and enchanting Savannah's wandering base has dispatched, has dispersed across the plains mm-hmm. looking for items. Uh, one of the annexes that uh, the Nagpa added to her base is a factory dedicated to producing iron golems. <laughs> oh, so, God. Anybody uh, not involved in making the iron golem is out getting materials needed to make manuals of iron golems or collecting materials to make new golems. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. But I even like then, the of that. Yeah. Even yeah. with all of this, that she's still only able to produce like one every 30 days. Because these aren't easy to make, mm-hmm. even with all these powerful people backing her up. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, Savannah is overseeing the massive factory. Effectively, it is a factory where they're producing these, where they're basically hammering these golems together. Robot factory. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, she does, as she's doing that, uh, Skexis is going to hobble up to her, and he's just, he's going to, they're not, he's not going to say a word. He's just going to look down at the factory for a bit, and then he's just going, he's going to give a sigh and say, this won't be enough. Hmm. I know. He's really powerful. Hmm. Yeah, this is, well, the reason I came to you alone is because I do think I have a solution to this problem. Oh, really? But, and yes, and the reason I'm here alone is because we are the only ones who will know, this, who will know what this solution is. That way, if anybody other than us is captured, Yvard will learn nothing from them. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now this is mm-hmm. now I, I want you to keep an open mind about this. Okay. All right. This is, may seem a little this may seem a little drastic, but these are drastic times. Do tell. I was thinking, take a take a drop of your blood, just one drop, and put it into a creature. That a powerful that creature. works. How exactly? <laughs> You're, well, first and foremost, you're a god. Let's start with that. A drop of greatness is still great. Mm-hmm. Second, you're a you're god of magic. It may not, it may not be your official, your official uh, domain, but it's definitely a part of your portfolio. The drop, that drop will give whatever we put into it a touch of magic, and if the creature itself is already innately magical... And that drop will enhance its abilities many times over. But most importantly, it doesn't matter what the creature is. It will feel a compulsion to obey any order you give it. Mm. You don't have to order it. You can leave it alone. But if you need it to do something like, I don't know, say, defend you against Ivard, 
that. You know what? Uh, you actually might be onto something. The thing is, I don't think we need to put it into a, another creature. How about clone? Create a clone of yourself. Yes. That's interesting. And but yeah. with my blood inside the clone, if yeah, the bar clone does show up... Blood. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you can feed it the clone, exactly. Yes. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Ivard is a smart man. He has crushed many wizards in the past. I've We've done a little research into his background. He's not going to be looking to kill you. He'll be going for the capture. Yes. He, he knows that if he kills you, you probably have a clone body to put your soul in. You can discorporate. He'll be killing a simulacrum. He'll be looking for the original body. Mm -hmm. He'll be looking for you. Hmm. Yeah, but that's why I suggested a living weapon, something that when he finds you, you just snap your fingers and boom. And boom. <laughs> yes, and boom. your living weapon appears right next to you, right on top of him. Can you imagine the look on that fucker's face when he sees that? Hmm. That do you know, sound interesting. That do sound interesting. Hmm. I was thinking about the clone because uh, it serves both well, intents. Like so, exactly. he, he must have a way. No, I mean the clones, not not the drop of blood into other creatures. Uh, hear me out. So, clones. Uh, first of all, with divination spell, he must have a way to detect where we are. That's why I'm forced to move so often. Yes. And with a clone. That means his divination spell won't be able to tell which one is the original. Exactly. That is a very good point. Yes. But why don't we meet in the middle? We can do both. Hmm. For the clone, I just need like a just a, a single hair. But uh, and we can at the same time while he's chasing your clone across the universe, you'll be we will be nurturing your living weapon to pro to fruition. Hmm. So not only will he have to face two angry Sylvanas, but he'll face a very angry living weapon that's fighting to protect its mistress. I was actually thinking an army of me. Like, <laughs> yes. Sylvanas, please let me <laughs> gently no, discourage No, no, let's that. follow this, let's follow this line. <laughs> I was thinking let an me, army of me. If, there, if I clone myself a hundred times, yes. there's no way I can be stopped. Yeah. Sylvanas, <laughs> let me... Uh, Deadly discourage that. Do you know why the gods don't directly interfere in the world? Hmm. Uh, I don't they know. They usually don't. The fabric because... of reality is too thin for gods to reverse. No, 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 no. Nothing. Nothing pedestrian like that. It's it, it's that there are more. Well, the gods of good anyway. The gods of good don't do it because there are more evil gods. Well, there are more non-good gods than there are good gods. The gods of evil don't do it because there are more non-evil gods and there are evil gods and the gods of neutrality don't because there are more non-neutral gods than there are neutral gods you mean a balance basically it's, there's a balance yes if everyone started sticking their hands in the cookie jar eventually it will get broken hmm. do you follow yes uh you made it really exactly clear. <laughs> so we can we can maybe do one maybe two clones to throw Ivar off the scent hmm. but at some point, he's going to figure it out, and he won't be fooled by clones anymore. I wasn't trying to fool him. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. I was trying yeah. to, as we manufacture iron golems, I want to manufacture me, copies of me, mm -hmm. like a legion as of I me. Said, and yeah. as I said, if we start making more of you, the other gods may, may get suspicious. And while they certainly don't trust Avard, they will most definitely be sending people to help him. If they see you building an army of yous, they might think you're going to make a bid for a conquest. Yeah, it does kind of paint you true. in a certain light. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I suggest. That's why I suggested the weapon. I mean, clones, great idea. We can throw a rod off the scent, and when we finally decide to confront him, or he manages to confront us, we just snap our fingers, and your clones pop in. All right. Hmm. That's a good idea.
it was a very good idea to not think of that. Hmm. So what creature will you yeah, give I was your thinking, blood? I was thinking... I've already I identified a suitable candidate. You remember... You remember what you get at the Black Academy, don't you? Yes, how can I forget? Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, bear. Yay! Yeah! A <laughs> <laughs> Now, you remember what you did. You remember the destructions of Bukio wreaked, right? Yes. That was, a, that was chaotic. He was confused and he wanted to get out. Imagine if that destruction was focused. Hmm. Imagine if it wasn't done randomly, but with a purpose. Hmm. Okay. So, where is where can I view those candidates? I've already selected a suitable one. Okay. Why I've already, I I've already we've already done that. I just need your blood and approval to do so. Hmm. Is there any way I can take a look? I, I just want to know. He pulls a crystal ball is. out and he shows he shows you. Mm -hmm. uh, and he shows you in his in his crystal ball. He shows you uh, a dark cave. He shows you a cave. There's a little cre There's like a there's a dragon sleeping in there. It's all it's curled up. Mm -hmm. It's a pale pinkish color and it looks oh, kind of alone and a little forlorn. It says the run to the litter but one with a burning ambition inside of him. We can use this. Hmm. His potential. Really? I don't see the... Hmm. <laughs> he, just, he, all, uh, he turns the scrying center a little, and you can see that behind the dragon are a couple of uh, spell books with the edges charred. Mm -hmm. He's hmm. teaching himself magic. The wizards who come to slay him are burned alive. He takes their spell books as prizes and he's slowly learning. He does have the eagerness. Mm. The thing is, spells how is do powerful. I know I can... I, I know my blood has the power to compel him, but if things go sideways, this could... When I say end. compel... When I say compel, it's like an itch. Have you ever had that one itch that you just you try not to scratch and you just can't ignore it? Hmm. That's what this. That's what the compulsion is. You can try to ignore it, but it'll just grow stronger and stronger until he scratches that itch. Okay. Plus, you know what? If he he will recognize you as the hmm. person who gave him, it's like how chromatic dragons worship Tiamat or platinum dragons worship Bahamut. Hmm. Okay. So hmm. I offer my blood. And it's a, we it. don't. You just sneak it's into. A, I just needed to. It pulls out a little. Uh, he pulls out a little uh, a syringe. He says, "I just need just one drop. Just, uh, just that's all I need." It How doesn't about need to know. this? Uh, I, I will give you the blood. I, I, in fact, I would like to, you know, recruit him myself. If that's he's good not for. I, I know. Well. Like, I. I know he's not. Faithless, that's the thing. Oh, he's not I see. one of us. He's still on the tapestry. I see. Exactly. But mm -hmm. with your blood inside of him, he can break free. All right. So we can't alert fate, which is exactly. We'll keep our. We'll keep this on the down low, as it were. <laughs> so right. he's going to. Stick his yes. uh, syringe into you and just... Oh, just no a need for the syringe. I you know, oh. I just oh. split one drop of blood from my fingertip and just... Uh, just okay, quickly to him. Yeah. pulls it off. Um, he quickly pulls out a vial and delicately captures it. He just looks at this. Yeah. Excellent. This will do nicely. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, my lady. I guarantee... I promise you this dragon will become more powerful than anything you've ever, anything you or the world has ever seen. I nod, and I... Aside from, uh, aside from what you see in the mirror, of course, yeah. my lady. Uh, no, there are still more powerful beings than I do. Uh, mm. 
That is true. All right. Uh, I <laughs> give him the blood, and I yep. would actually use the wish spell to try to make a clone of me, if that's possible. Um. Yeah, you do that. You create a wish spell, and you are able to. You go to your lab. You mm -hmm. uh, get something. You get things set up like you're casting the clone spell, and you use wish, and you create the clone. Mm -hmm. But there's just there's no life in it. Yeah. I know. You're gonna have to put the life in it to a more powerful ritual than wish. Yeah. Well, more powerful ritual than wish. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> That's a <laughs> powerful <laughs> ritual. <laughs> no, it is a ninth. Wish has a harder time duplicating ninth level spells. Okay. And plus, That's simply true. wishing that life into something is not as simple. Putting life into something is not as simple as saying I wish there's I wish the thing was alive. Yeah. Um. There's all kind. There's definitely gonna something gonna be wrong about. Just simply wished for that, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wish for a physical copy of me, and I can have, figure out the. Rest. And it's right there. Yeah, it's right there in the tank. All right. Meanwhile, Skexus has uh, teleported in and is stealthily sneaking up to the to the sleeping dragon. He very delicately sticks the needle in between its scales and very delicately injects the drop of divine blood into into the dragon. Mm -hmm. Pulls it out. He. Mm -hmm. Looks at the sleeping dragon fondly. He says, <laughs> "Exactly." He says, <laughs> "You are going to be destined for great things. You will be the one to drive our lady's enemies into the dust. You are her shield and her sword, a shardalon." I knew it. I already knew it. <laughs> From the moment me, where he me, eagerly me, pushes me. the target, I already knew it. It's okay. Well, yeah. here's the funny thing. Like a good, good old, good old, you know, uh, Philo figured it out minutes ago, and yeah. it took me a hot minute to go. Dragon, dragon, dragon. <laughs> it's a shardalon. Ah! <laughs> uh, I know. Uh, I guess you'd figure it out, but yeah. you know what? I wanted to. You know what? I wanted to connect it. I wanted to put him in. No, this is how that, he got that is, to be where he that is. That is accurate. That is good. I, I like it. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Welcome back to Ashes of a Charlotte, everybody. Woo! Hey! What's it's good to be back. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to pop ahead into the future a thousand years or so. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. Last time was a complete and utter clusterfuck. Yeah. There is no other way to put it. <laughs> yep. There is no other way to put it. Nope. Also, if you checked uh, the summary that I put, I linked up, <clears throat> I put a link in the, in, uh, the summary. Mm -hmm. In England, someone decided that it would be a good idea to load himself into a trebuchet and fling himself at a target. Nah. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? <laughs> that that is cool. so awesome. That sounds pretty good. That That's guy really cool. must have been watching our show. That guy, yeah, I, that guy, <laughs> he was a legend. The legend passed down. Yeah. He died. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, was he a monk he, too? Please tell me he was a monk. He was not a monk. He was a student yeah. and he unfortunately died doing that <laughs> stupid stunt. Really? You oh, don't say. say. You don't say. <laughs> Does he um, go by why. the name Kelby? <laughs> no. Um, Every time I tell people of the last session we did, they just look at me going like, oh, dear merciful God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, last time on Ashes of a Shardalon, you guys hid among the Githyanki and watched them get ready to go to war. Uh, you decided not to follow up on that which, because it could not possibly be, have any relevance to the plot of this game whatsoever. No, not at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you decided, uh, you did some thinking, and decided that your, when your stuff was taken by the Githyanki, it was taken inside of the palace, trying to figure out how to how do we get past the two angry dragons at the gate. We're going to catapult ourselves over the wall. Catapult! Yeah. <laughs> he Kyle Bay nearly crushed himself to death against the wall. Um... <laughs> But he did a great job allowing Sal and Philo to sneak over. We will always I was a remember his sacrifice. It was part of my plan all along. <laughs> we will always remember his sacrifice. Yeah. Well, oh, Sal yeah. healed him. He didn't sacrifice much. Wait, because Sal he didn't? healed him. <laughs> yeah, Sal Aww. healed him. Philo conjured a distraction dinosaur. <laughs> Yes. And the distraction allowed you guys to run past the guards, run past the startled receptionist dragon, and, run and into, into the dragon. labyrinth of yeah. the castle. Yeah. 
That's when he discovered that this palace is not any palace, but the royal palace. The yep. queen, the Yankee queen trapped you in a docking bay, and uh, who knows what she was going to do with you mm-hmm. when uh, when your friend Ice Lakewood showed up. Yay. She negotiated your freedom from the Githyanki. Freedom. Yes, even the Githyanki freedom. are kind of nervous about messing with the Lakewoods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, meanwhile, Philo gambled with the, the, with oh, the Neo-G yes. and won his freedom right. from their debt. Oh, uh, yeah, Meepo. fucking Philo MVP. Yeah. <laughs> also, Let's Meepo go, got a slick new sword for Sal. Thank you, Meepo. Yes. You return so returning to the material plane. You picked up where you left off at Lakewood Keep, um, and with this time, you decided to bring ice along to help you out. Hmm. So you slaughtered your way through the port through uh, through some undead that led to a in order to get to a portal that led to the world undead world called Mortis. Uh, you met some revenants who were very friendly, and the revenants helped you defeat some bone claws and the stupid kid who was controlling them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the He's quite literal annoying. shit kid. Yep, He's literal super. shit kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's no so remorse in that. Back. He's straight up dead. Yep. <laughs> After you killed him, you fell back to the other room. And it was decided, you know what, we'll take an extended rest and we're ready to face that portal. Because we had a long day today. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. it was like, yeah, yeah. Kel oh. was like, I'm ready to take a nap. Yeah. Yep. So, Kel sacrificed himself. Oh, wait, he didn't. All right. No. <laughs> Nothing. So, no. while you were taking your extended rest, it was decided that Sal should attune to the sword. Yes. Yay. I attuned to it. And my All mind right. is full fucked up. No, <laughs> just kidding. You attuned to it. And at first, it doesn't seem like you succeeded. You decide, you know what? I'm just gonna sleep with it like a teddy bear. Just gonna sleep on it. <laughs> Sounds like a great movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally like sleeping cool. on it. <laughs> and uh, when you and you go to sleep, and when you dream, you um, you dream of uh, something that you never, and that uh, a little unexpected. I, as far as you're concerned, it's something you never dreamed of. You never thought you'd dream of. Um, you find yourself standing on a castle, on a castle wall. Hmm. Let me see if I can find it. Ooh. Yeah, on top of a tall spire, actually, an enormous spire of this huge gothic castle. Um, you look out, there's uh, trees and stuff. There's trees and mountains and forests up ahead. Behind you rises a second tower, even higher. Mm-hmm. Um you, you're not sure where you are, but uh, wherever you are, you can see uh, sun. Uh, the sun is actually starting to go down. Okay. You see the sun going down. It's a beautiful sunset. Mm-hmm. So, what and, are uh, my surroundings? Sorry, besides I, the I just, sun. Yeah. Um, and let me check here. Uh, right now, you're standing on a 60-foot diameter tower roof rimmed with battlements. There's a slender stone bridge with no railing spans the, spanning the gap between this tower and the slightly taller tower behind you. Mm-hmm. Um, and to the east, there's another tall tower thrusting upward with no apparent opening at this level. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And then when you uh, look back, and when you look around, you also see that standing a few... Sitting about 10 feet away from you, you're leaning on the battlements looking out. There's a, a woman, an albino woman, looking out mm-hmm. at everything. Okay. Um, but you can see that she's dressed in uh, Baroque plate armor. Oh, broken. Okay. No, not broken. Baroque. It oh, means like Baroque. it's embellished. It's got all kinds of fancy fancy carving. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Engra- Engraving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like I know what Baroque is. Sorry. I, I just heard broken. Yeah. So I was like, broken. Ah. Okay. No. It's um, but uh, one. You're not sure what most of them mean, but one thing that does stand out to you is this: that there is a symbol of the Raven Queen on it. Okay, I so. look at her and try yeah, she to says, talk to her. Yeah, she just says, "No." She initiates the conversation mm-hmm. before you can oh. say anything. She just says, "It's beautiful, isn't it? This land." Uh, you can see me. Of course I can. Well, I can't actually see you. I'm communicating with your mind. Uh, 
Hi, I am Sal. Well, I'm Salvatore. But, Salvatore. Yes. Uh, I am. My name is Luke Dana. Okay, Luke Dana. Sorry. Uh, can I... Oh, Luke Dana. Luke Dana. Okay. Yes. And uh, she, when she turns to you, um, you can see that her eyes are also white, indicating that she's blind. But she has no problems oh. walking up to you. And holding out her hands to shake your hands. Uh, She's yeah, offering you a handshake. Yeah, I, I shake her back, and I was like, "I'm mm -hmm. so sorry, madam. I didn't know you were." It, it's fine. I, I don't, I don't. I see with other senses. Don't worry. Okay. Mother Night has granted me, has granted me senses beyond that of mortals. Or okay. she did when I was alive, anyway. So, Mother Night, uh, do I recognize you? Worship her too. You should just be worshipper too. I've been waiting a long time for someone who did. Uh, do you mean the Raven Queen? I see. Uh, yes, I've heard her called that name several times. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have. So why why am I here? I mean, why do you communicate with me? There, there must says, be a reason. Yeah. Oh, yes, there is. You see that? You see, that is my sword. You just attuned to. Oh. Ooh. When I died, okay. I was my the Raven Queen had my soul interred within the sword, commanding me to sleep until a true servant of hers picked it up and attuned to it. Okay. I guess you fit the bill. Uh, I <laughs> am honored, and yet kind of uh, worried. Isn't her dogma about sending the one uh, to the afterlife? I mean, she looked down on her hands and says, "Yes, it is, but I can only assume that she kept me here because there's some greater purpose I have yet to fulfill. Uh, Perhaps there's something to do with this." And she just she gestures at the scenery around you. So mm -hmm. this is we are inside your. Your image, well, uh, the your mind palace. Your, yeah, your your mind palace. <laughs> Thank you, you mysterious voice. <laughs> mysterious <laughs> voice. That's what I am. <laughs> You're inside the memory okay. of my home. You're inside the memory of Barovia. Barovia. This is Castle Ravenloft. Oh. Uh, do, yeah. I think there is a far away branch. I'm not too certain of this. Uh, sorry, no, but I Ravenloft I, I thought was I not heard built by it. servants of the Raven Queen. Okay, it was built by a man named Strad. <laughs> Where's Rick. my boy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you guys watched sorry, the Game Awards? Sorry, just quick break. Oh, the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, on the stage. Yeah. Read it, boy. That was amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Turn back. All right. Yeah, so I, I look at Lugdana and I was like, uh, I am really honored. And the honor is mine. Uh, but I, you, you can see Cell in the Mind Palace is kind of hesitant to say this, but eventually he was like, Do you wish to go on to the afterlife? I mean. If she says, I wish to do whatever my queen wishes. If she wishes me to go on to the afterlife, then I will have no complaints. If she was the one who put me in here in the first place, so she clear and she has not removed me since. So she clearly had me destined for something greater. That that is the thing. I do worship her, but hmm. then can, I can, can you answer question? a few of my questions? I, I'm sorry, I'm I'm really confused. Not about this. I, I pointed around, but more like, how does someone hold such a strong belief? I don't get me wrong. I do believe in uh, her dogma. That is the. F that is also why I took on to becoming a paladin. But how do someone getting so devoted, even after? This, I mean, in her dogma, it's you, you know, it's a bit conflicted. That I understand why... your confusion. Yes. You're having a, something of a crisis of faith here. 
Yes. He says, mm, well, I, she looks at you and just says, I can see that you are young. I can tell from until you are young, you've not had many years under your belt. Your faith has not been tested the way mine has. Okay. So... I think, uh, sorry. Sorry. You, when your faith is tested, the, the Raven Queen, if she is not, if she has decided that it is no long, it is not your time to come to go to move on, then she will give you the power you need to see yourself through it. So you are supposed to be that power, I assume. For you, perhaps. I don't know. She, you know, who she is. She is very famous and cryptic. But like I said. She may not give you. She may not reach down with her hand. She may not reach down and pull you out of the fire, but she will give you a means to survive it. Uh, you see, Sal nod, and says, "I think I'll be thinking about that." Thank you, Lugdana. Yeah. It says, "Well, um, she just she smiles at you and says." Well, we're not going to be parting as nearly as you think, as quickly as you think. Oh. You see, I can communicate, not that I have awoken, I can communicate with you telepathically. She's a sentient sword! Yes! Sentient sword! Hey! Yeah! She's in your possession. Yeah. Well, she can possess me all she wants, if she wants to. Yeah. Yeah. So, we got rid of Charizard and we got Lugia. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. (laughs) <laughs> it's, she's looked down on but anyway yeah it's okay ignore my stupid ignore my <laughs> stupid jokes <laughs> pretend i'm not here yeah please uh yeah <laughs> or just do it audiviata rolls up in a chevy yeah. <laughs> yeah, you roll up in all of the other yeah, will yeah. probably like you want to go out with me girl <laughs> Girl? You wanna go with me? <laughs> 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 Alright, but um Let's have a sheath yeah. evening. Uh, anyway. Uh, <laughs> lame joke, ignore me, just go on. <laughs> yeah, look down a this is from say. So says so what uh, so uh, so what will you do now? Uh I'll let you know this. I guess I'll I'll help with my. I'll go on and help my friend if she, uh, the the Raven Queen does have her purpose uh, that she wants me to fulfill. Then I will try. I guess. Like you said. You can, uh, yeah, like like you said. I don't have many years. Uh, I I'm really inexperienced, and frankly, I I don't think I have full grasp of what she wants me to do but the thing is I think I'll try mm-hmm. I'll try that to is do. all you can do. yes that is all she asks okay. now I think it is time for you to wake up and then I snap into my shirt awake oh, roller what no just kidding you wake <laughs> how, up, how do I wake up <laughs> you see ice is leaning down looking over it's like gee are you okay you you slept for like you you slept for so long we're all ready to go. Oh, I, uh, I you see, Kel, like, yeah, I th- I threw a couple buckets of water on you to wake you up, and you just didn't budge. It just, wasn't water. Can I add a little flavor in it? <laughs> Saying like, it was water. Uh, Kel would not like <laughs> throw some like what? Uh, uh, my little <laughs> just says Kel he thinks it's water, but I think otherwise. It's it's brackish and dirty water. Yes, it's urine. Oh, I knew so- it. It's okay. No, I'm uh, sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, uh, Falcon, can I, for flavor wise, can can you say that I was near death, like like a feigned death state? I, I went out yes. sleep. Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Yeah, but well, when you wake up, you check your sword again. You, know, you see, it's changed. The entire weapon is now completely black, except uh-huh. for the gem in the palm all. And not the poem in the in the cross piece, okay. which is now stark white, oh. and the wings, oh. the wind cross piece now look like raven wings. All right, oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's. And sick. you feel that this is what the sword originally looked like. Ah, she must have used back it in the space. day. I see. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so. I look at everyone and says, 
uh, guys, uh, this is Luke Donna, and uh, um, that's a sword. That's uh, a sword. She is. <laughs> yeah, it, it, are you feeling okay, Sal? I said, are you feeling okay? Did uh, did you get some of that dirty water in your mouth? <laughs> I'm actually uh, feeling more than okay. Uh, thank you, fi uh, sorry. Uh, thank you, Meepo. Ice. I was, I was. That, I think that's. Was that ice? Yeah, or ice Meepo? was the one who said that. Meepo is just. Oh. Meepo is kind of just like. Uh, uh, are you really okay? okay? No, 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 no I, I was. I was actually <laughs> talking to Meepo because he's the one uh, handing uh. over the sword, right? Yeah. Oh. I was not responding no, to no, ice. No. I was more like responding to uh, everyone. But at this point, I was oh, like, okay. thanking Meepo oh, okay. for yeah. I was like, okay. so I do really appreciate your help of uh, freeing her. And well, uh, okay. who's her? Who, who's who's her? She is a she. Uh, she is still a faithful uh, servant of the Raven Queen. Well, from where she called, from where she originated, she called her Mother Knight, and she is uh, here to help. Uh, yeah. Hey, who are you talking about? Who's this she? Like I said, uh, I I I gently uh, lift the sword with both hands and just uh, like presented it to everyone and not not handing it over okay. but more like holding yeah we just presented both hands. Yeah. yes and I was like yeah this I is, this is really I want cool. to actually walk up and like put my hand on the sword All right, I'll um, place my hand uh actually I will, I will ask Luke Donna first so I was like uh, is it okay if my friends you know just put their hands on or if that's too yeah. intruded she, rude for you she says they can put it on as much as they like only you will be able to communicate with me oh okay all right and i i just let them put their hands on <laughs> before yeah I, after the conversation yeah all right um so when you guys put your hands on it um you see like there's this the bl uh, like this uh, light just zooms down from the tip of the blade down to the cross piece, and then you see reflected back at you. It's not your own reflections, but the reflection of an albino woman, a blind albino woman who looks to be about in her tw late 20s, early 30s. Oh, Just staring back like Philo eyes widen. <laughs> like, <"Whoa." laughs> what? Uh, uh, okay, so Kel, Kel is like, okay, so we've got another sentient sword. Okay. I like poke the sword and then I just say, "Looking sharp." Uh, yeah, uh, and <laughs> I'm maybe just like tell me, just like, oh no. I, I look at Philo and I say, "Philo, we we lost one sentient sword. Don't scare the other one away." <laughs> oh, I didn't even know it was sentient. You never told me about it until you released it in the town square. <laughs> Listen, that wasn't my intention. What? <laughs> It wasn't sentient. It had something inside of it. So, uh, I don't know. What do I know? Just a couple. Yeah, that's right. Wait, would that mean yeah, that's not sentient. sentient. Like the one, uh, the gray sword I had before. It was. It wasn't sentient. It was just it wasn't another yeah, spirit yeah. being like trapped. So it was more it's like, like so a cage like for this. Yeah. Mm. Ludana is so what different. What do we call your cool-looking sword, L L Ludana? Uh, look down on, yes. Uh, look down Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, if she wants to, you know, help us, then yeah. Like, welcome to the team. Like, do like a, an yeah. awkward thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, I, I would shake it. hands, but you would cut me. So yeah. I, that's yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> True. Put your hand on the wing. Shake yeah. it up and down. Yeah. yeah. Gently you see, shake uh, it with both fingers. <laughs> Yeah, you see the reflection in the sword gives the, the reflection of look down. It gives a little bow and then vanishes with another flash of light. Oh, okay. <sighs> okay. That's amazing. Thank you. Well, now that everyone's awake, uh, we've well, we've got a portal to go through, and uh, I think our revenant friends are ready to go. Yeah, the oh. revenant's like, yeah, you're not going through that portal unless you want to, or unless you want to go into a world inhabited by nothing but zombies. Oh, that's awfully specific. Interesting. Yeah, Mortis is a world of undead. That um, at this point, so Kel goes. Go there. Uh, Kel's gonna look at Ice. Then it's like, well, 
you said that we're the, not going the crystal... through it. We're gonna seal. It. She's like, we're gonna seal it. All right, we're not going through it. Okay, okay, oh, sorry. All right, let's do it's it. It's fine. Don't, don't worry. Just, we're not going through it. Oh, okay. okay. So. <sighs> Uh. Anyway, I call dibs in the next sentient sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay. I mean, I don't need yeah. a I don't need a cool sword. I have an immovable rod. <laughs> that is you way cooler sentient. than a sword, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're gonna get sent. You're gonna get sentient, a sentient immovable rod. Next. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> sentient stick. Um, I guess I'll just follow Ice or whoever. Yeah, Ice is gonna lead point. the way. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Oh, by the way, I um, would want to ask, what, what does Lugdana do? Yeah, Lugdana's not. Uh, uh, it's a dancing. It's a dancing sword, animated sword, dancing sword, whatever it's called. It's a dancing sword. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dancing sword. Yeah. So you can just let her go and let her fight on her own. Oh. Okay. Except, um, it's flavored such that when you activate the dancing ability and let it go, it looks like Luke Donna is spectrally wielding the sword herself. Oh, okay. Oh, that's dancing cool. Sword. That's awesome. I will put that into <laughs> the category. Nice. Thank you. Yep. So it's a it's a pretty slick weapon. Nice. Because she doesn't she doesn't really need anything. Also, mm -hmm. um, they can actually cast a spell once per day. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That is interesting. Um, that hang on, is... let me double check. I don't remember what this spell is. Let me get my notes. Because I okay. don't remember what it is. Um, okay. <laughs> it is not a problem. It's all right. Yeah, you... once per day. Sorry. Um, she can cast Aura of Life. Oh, That's a good spell! Oh, that is really good. Yep, yeah. and what's more, the sword rim the sword maintains concentration on the spell, so you don't have to. Oh, nice! Ooh, so yeah, basically, that's really good. Yeah, basically, thirty feet. You can she can cast it in a thirty foot radius, an aura centered on the sword. Each ally in the sword, including Sal has resistance to necrotic damage, and their hit point maximum cannot be reduced. No. Furthermore, all living allies regain one hit point when it start, when they start their turn in the aura with zero hit points. Whoa. That's amazing. Yeah, this is... Okay. So, yeah, so basically you guys have for 10 minutes, you guys cannot be taken down, nice. except unless some, they just dogpile you. Yeah, so it's basically if we start a turn on conscious, we're immediately back up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that cool. would that would that's gonna be nice. That's gonna be nice. <laughs> um, Sal, I'd like you to make a history check with advantage because uh, Luke Donna is prompting your memory. Okay, uh, I will do that. Let's see history. Let's hope it's good. Yeah, Whew, thank that's you. That's good. Uh, well, uh, there aren't many in the world anymore today, but way back when there used to be a lot more vampires. Now, once upon a time, they were very very com much more common than they are today nowadays like it's possible for centuries and centuries to go by before you hear that a vampire that a vampire showed up okay um but back when there were vampires back when they were more common um mm -hmm. uh, lugdana was a vampire hunter Whoa. she was a powerful paladin of the raven queen and she hunted vampires her old holy symbol the symbol of Ravenkind was used by the three great heroes of yesteryear uh, to destroy the vampire mm. god. Mm. Yeah, but um, but yeah, this is, but what's your fan? But this aura of life that uh, Lugana has—it's basically a remnant of her power as a paladin. Nice. So, Alexander would be very proud. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. All right. All right, so you're following Ice. Um, she opens the door. She leads you through where the where the little shit kid is rotting away. Um, yep. mm -hmm. She actually stop, pauses a moment just to give the corpse a good kick. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and I, I just kind of walk by it. I'm like, I don't want to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> nope. and then she goes to a 
leads you down a long hall up to a huge set of double doors, and she just says, "All right, guys, get ready." Okay, into a fighting position. Yep. And then she just pushes the doors open. All right, fighting. And you are immediately assailed with the smell of rotting meat. Oh. Uh, <coughs> yep. Inside the inside this room, you can see the portal. It's built as this gi- basically a gigantic well up against one wall. Oh. Up against the far wall. Um. <clears throat> um, the room itself has like uh, weird arcane symbols drawn on the floor. There's bookshelves lining the walls full of rotting books. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, milling around on the floor are a bunch of large zombies, about 10 of them in total, like zombified ogres, basically. Hmm. Okay. okay. Oh. And I like floating, the sound of that. <laughs> floating over the well, the portal well, is a strange creature. It looks like it has one big. It looks like one big head with a single blind eye set into it, and has a couple of like several tentacles stretching off of its head. Most of them are rotten, but a few have blind eyes set into them as well that just peer around curiously. Oh, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> uh, so, I think uh, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah, so, um, right. so the Revenant much. leader looks at you and says, All right, uh, make your choice. Ogres or Beholder? I would go Beholder. with the Ogre. Beholder first? Beholder. No, uh, yeah, 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 you, you guys show Beholder, and I'm like, I would, okay. <laughs> No, beholder first, like so that there there's no accident. Oh, no. you're like okay, let's fight the beholder first because yeah. Okay. Yeah. Philo spins his staff. Let's do it. Let's do okay. it. All right. I All right. Get ready yep. into the fray. Yeah. Right, so the paladins immediately jump down and start plowing the road to clear a path for you to get through. Um, to get through the. Uh, the ogres. Um, basically, you guys are on like a balcony that's overlooking mm-hmm. this room. All right. Mm-hmm. And there's a set of stairs leading down. So you guys are able to go through. How many the feet palace. away? I guess I might stay in the balcony if ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, room's um, about sixty feet in diameter, so you can ooh. probably stay on the balcony and be fine. Yep. Yeah, I'll stay there and say I got you guys. I'll cover you. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, All right. I'm, I'll follow behind Sal. Yeah, I will charge you. <laughs> Do, 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 do. All right, so you charge in, and as you do, the beholder zombie is going to look down at you. He's just going to go like, "Oh, you're cute, great." <laughs> no, and as it good. does, uh, its long, rotting black tongue just snaps and falls out onto the ground. That's good. <laughs> uh, well, that's like, one. And it tries to like pick it up and yeah. shove it back inside. Of <laughs> Can I step on it? Don't worry. Just it. <laughs> Can I step onto his tongue, like, pin it in place? <laughs> Not, uh, it, no, when you, uh, yeah, you can, but uh, by the time you reach the tongue, the beholder realizes what you're doing, it just floats back up out of the way. Yeah, but his <laughs> tongue is still dragging, right? Yeah. It's, no, his tongue is still on the ground. He hasn't, he wasn't yeah, able to His try, tongue to, literally to fell out. Oh, oh okay. I thought yeah, it was like a half-broken, still attached state. I was, no, like, no, I was no, hoping no, no. like it literally just yeah. fell out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you were hoping, but no, yeah. it literally just. I was hoping for a beholder balloon, zombified beholder balloon. But anyway, <laughs> it literally rotted and fell out. Okay. <laughs> and it's floating about ten. It's floating about ten feet above you. All right, and then which bang! is not out of reach of your new flying sword, by the way. Yep, I'm gonna and immediately. I will, and while call I'm watching this, I just call lightning. Nice. Right. Nice. So, I was going to drop landing here. Let's see if it's... <laughs> he makes the save. He's able to just float out of the way. Mm. And, uh, but uh, I already used my bonus action to cast but Luke down on to call out Luke down on and just like uh, uh, I'm assuming yeah. I'm assuming we're rolling initiative now because I yeah, guess we're getting initiative. Man. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go. Nice. Wow. Good. Good job, nice. guys. Oh wow. Wow. Even everyone's doing nice. really good. Uh, first roll of the night. It's good. Yeah. Well, not first, but first initiative. 
All right. I am going to add that. All right, as we're rolling initiative. As we roll initiative. Um, <laughs> That's going to be your staple, for sure. <laughs> you find a has fire, I have lightning. Yeah, yeah, lightning. No, don't worry, don't worry. My staple's going to be coming out pretty soon. Yeah. Water. Like ice. Yep, yeah, basically. Nice. I just got to get him down. All right, hang on. Well, as uh, you're rolling initiative, out of the well crawl four more zombies. It's okay. Ooh, we have revenant friends besides us. So. No, just not not, not beholder zombies, but regular zombies. Not just, just regular zombies. zombies. Yeah. Always, always, I'm just regular humanoid zombies. Yeah, I'm saying it's okay because we have revenant friends with us. So Re revenant friends are tied up right now. You have ice. Yeah, the revenant friends are dealing with the ogres. We chose oh, right, the beholder. Yeah. 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 So we're on our own. have ice who's backing you up, who's standing us to file on the balcony. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, 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 we go. We got this. We can do it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of ice, let me get her stats. Maybe one day I'll be able to use deflect missiles. <laughs> yeah. Which is I don't really think good. we've actually fought us. I don't think we fought a single enemy that shot at me with a ranged attack. Yeah, <laughs> there's not a lot of ranged enemies. But usually, yeah. honestly, that's not really. Honestly, I shouldn't be saying that because I'm usually one going up to them. So I gotta punch people. Yeah. Yep. Besides, the well, flight I mean, missiles uh, eats up your reaction. So. Yeah. So yeah. No opportunities. Just, yeah. No opportunity attack. No oppies. All right. Um, Philo, what is your dexterity score? Uh, Whoops. 16. That doesn't sound good. Sal, what is your dexterity score? Uh, 10. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be going after Philo, definitely. Alright, so Philo, what do you do? Gonna call another lightning. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for the music right now. <laughs> Alright, he makes the save again. Okay, Philo is starting to get more infuriated each time oh, no. Call Light misses. <laughs> God damn it! Ah! Well, you just get the feeling that this thing would be sticking its tongue at you if it wasn't for the fact that the tongue rotted. <laughs> yeah, it just doesn't have a tongue. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, okay. Like Philo just like hyper focuses. Like, okay, I'm gonna, I okay, I'm gonna shoot where you're going to go instead of where you are. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that is actually <laughs> smarter. I mean. It is, right? Yep. All right, Sal, you have uh, released Lugdana and she's floating in the air. You can pull out your other sword and start smacking these the rest of the zombies on the ground. Yeah, around. my warhammer right. is ready. Yeah, I don't all have right. the defender anymore, so my warhammer is all I got. Mm. Yep. And yep. Uh, I'm going to smack down to the beholder. Just like okay. try to give it a real whack on the head. Well, the beholder is floating 10 feet in the air unless your warhammer can reach that far. Oh, no. Uh, so 10 you, feet. If you can. I can bring him down, um, Sal. You just gotta, gotta give me a chance. Okay. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, I'm behind. Well, you're behind me, so... Uh, let's see, do I have... Well, like I said, there are four zombies in front of you right now. Oh, okay. Then I will do that. And um, I am looking to see if I can find anything to hit them. Well, I don't think I can do much with area attack, but I'm going to smack down on the first zombie I can see. So, yeah. All right. I'm just going to... Oh, shit. Where's my Warhammer go? That's weird. Sorry, the, the stat has just gone missing. It happens sometimes, I don't know why. I think maybe... Uh, hmm. Oh, it's back again. It's just like sometimes I try to... Oh, <laughs> that's good. As you're trying to find your Warhammer. Yeah, what? I was like, where? <laughs> and I accidentally whack a zombie on the head. <laughs> uh, first whack. So, second whack. Whoa. That's another hit. This is really right, good today. Um, yeah, where is the zombie stats? So, yeah. Did the first one minus, die? Or minus, no? minus. Um, actually, he needs to run and make a saving throw. Oh. I've lost the damage taken. Lost the 
save for attack. Constitution save. And plus. Oh, he barely makes the save, and he's still standing with one hit point. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I can't do anything else. That will be the end of my turn. Dun -dun. All right, on the other hand, you did drop him down to one. You would have killed him if he didn't make that save. Yeah. Yeah, we just gotta do the pop pop. Yeah, I, I, I should have called for smite, but you already called yeah. his date, so it, no, I, I'm not fine. doing it. All right, uh, Kelby. All right, first things oh, first. Oh, by the way, I just uh, want to ask, sorry, how is Lugdana doing? Does she have her individual turn, or...? No, you do it. Oh, okay, so... As a bonus action, I think, Yeah, right? as a bonus okay. action, you can have her attack. Then next turn? Or is it... No, turn? now. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, you, you, can do do it, you can do it now. You didn't use your bonus action. You All right, action. Uh, can I have Lugdana try to pin uh, the... Well, the one flying, the beholder flying, so that Kelby can have a better angle at, you know, attacking it. Um, no, because this is—it's just a sword. You can how it, she can slash it though. All right, she'll yeah. do it. Hey, right, that is a hit. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. sorry. Uh, it doesn't have the dueling effect because she's—I'm not healed. So just just holding ten. Her. Yeah, just, just ten. 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 That's still fine. That's still a good hit. Yeah. <laughs> Ten is respectable damage there. All right. All right. So now it is Kelby's turn. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna see the beholder yep. and bring her down. Nice. All right. Uh, what save does points. it need to make? Strength. It needs strength. to make, I believe, a strength saving throw. What's your DC? Uh, uh, no, it's a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Uh, my DC is fourteen. <laughs> And you drag it down. Nice. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna like. I want. I want to wrap around all of its little tendrils and a nice little lasso with the mm -hmm. water whip yeah. and just pull it down. Nice. Yep. Yeah. And, you lasso uh, around it. It just kind of gives like this. Uh oh. Look on its <laughs> face, and then you drag it down with a. Nice. All right. So. All right. Uh. Okay. Uh. That didn't work. All right. So 3D10. Uh. 3d10 points. Wow! wow. <laughs> We're doing awesome tonight. That's amazing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that looks like it hurts. <laughs> <Jesus. laughs> looks like it hurts like hell. Hey, this it is what happens when yeah. combat goes in our favor. Zombies <laughs> yeah. don't need, don't really feel pain. So, <laughs> well, it's figuratively just, um, speaking. So, so now that he's down in front of me, uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, use. Uh, Flurry of blows nice. and do two <laughs> unarmed strikes. Do it. All right. All right. Whoops. Well, That's okay, a miss. That it's work. bounce off of its rubbery hide. Yeah. Actually, no, it's not bounce off its rubbery hide. You actually you hit your fist in a rotten portion that does no damage. Uh, we yeah, pull I your just, fist I covered in necrotic. Uh, <laughs> I, I just wipe it off my pants and I punch again. Yeah. Go Good. Forward. That's a hit. Nice. Eight points of damage. Eight. That is really good. Nice. We are doing awesome. Today. I'm I'm gonna end my turn there. I think I'm good with that. I want to save my key points. All right. Next up is Ice Lakewood. Come on, Ice. Do it. You can do it. What's she gonna do now? I'm really good at it. Let me say. Can she use? Can she use Cone of Cold safely? She cannot. I don't. Hmm. Maybe. Actually, she could. She's standing on the balcony next to Philo, and the room is 60 feet in diameter. So, she is going to use, pull out her wand, and she is going to cast Cone of Cold nice. on the zombies. Zombies. Nice. But what's more, her wand is magic, so it allows her to... Uh, select certain people who aren't affected by the spell. Yay. So in this case, Sal and Kelby are not affected, but the zombies hey, and the beholder yes. are. Uh, but the, the way the cone is angled, though, it's not going to be able to touch the ogre zombies. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, so you two are not affected by it, but the rest of these guys need to make some constitution saving throws. One, two, three... 
Four. Five. Sorry, let me, um, okay, so this is going with this, ooh, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no way they're making that save. No. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, so what happens is, she actually blows the normal zombies away, like when the snow nice. settles... They're all frozen. They're all like yeah. these frozen statues. Yes. Of themselves. <laughs> the beholder is uh, unfortunately still kicking, but it is not looking healthy right now. Yep. Yeah. Um, we can still kill it. It's fine. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's the zombies are frozen. Pop. They are corpsicles now. The beholder zombie is. It's going to wriggle around. Mm-hmm. And I need Kelby to roll 1d4 to determine which eye ray it shoots at him. 1d4, oh, you, got, you got it. Do I feel the disintegration? I do. <laughs> oh, no. No, it's not disintegration. I need Kelby to make a constitution save. Oh, no. This is not a problem. This yellow ray. I can't Plus feel like... Plus two. It's a... Oh, I'm going to turn into a statue. All right. Yep, petrifying gaze. <laughs> Wait, can you use your chi yeah. to do something? No. I'm nope. Hoping. He is paralyzed. Oh, paralyzed. Oh, paralyzed. oh thank God. <laughs> I thought it was petrify. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Philo, what do you do? Well, back to top of the line. Four new zombies pull themselves up out of the well. Okay. The well. Mm. We need to close it or do something. Mm. One like, last call yeah. lightning for mm. this freaking stupid beholder. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, nice. And I'm gonna, since I'm still on the balcony, I'll, I'm actually gonna start running to the battlefield. So I'm gonna go 30 yeah. feet nearer. Mm. All right. Um, you're able to get past the ogre zombies thanks to your revenant friends. No, who are actually doing a good job taking those things down. Like you can see divine smites flying. Nice. Okay, it's it's epic. Nice. Um, but yeah, Philo is able to strike the beholder, which you see it just like it starts floating up, <clears throat> and then it explodes in a shower of gore. <laughs> and I'm oh, paralyzed. Oh, I can't oh, do anything. Oh, my. <laughs> his mouth was unfortunately frozen in the open position. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 yeah, oh, God. <laughs> Covered a really in tough. beholder goo. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, right, he's a water monk, so he is able to wash yeah. himself off. I can, off, I can clean myself off. Yeah. Uh. So wait, is it dead or? It's dead. It's you blew it up. Yeah, you, you you popped oh. it. You popped it. Okay, that's it. good. Yes. <laughs> All right, now your turn. Sorry, I was that your turn. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Sal. All right. We got three zombies. Uh, I mean, I'm not sorry, not three. Four zombies standing there. Well, aren't they frozen? Or um, no, no, there's four, four, new four new ones. Oh, all right. out. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna charge to the front and try to uh, smack uh, one of them. So smack. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Warhammer. Smack. Whoops. Probably not gonna hit. That's a Warhammer. Oh, actually, it hits. These are zombies. They're very oh, okay. not do good at dodging. Oh, okay. So, seven. Uh, so, all right. I'm going to use a smite and mm -hmm. try to blow him up. So, uh, first, well, first level of smite. Nine. Oh, nice. Uh, ignore the two. So, uh, total yeah. of four. Uh, sorry, uh, that's how much? Total of 16. 16 points of damage. Okay, that doesn't kill him, but you do blow, literally blow off one of his arms. Alright. Nice. The other like, strike. literally goes bouncing across and flies back into the well. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the other strike. Sorry. Another one. 12. That's what? another hit. Yep. That is good. So. Okay, nice. He needs. Uh, are you going to smite him? Uh, yeah. Okay. Alright. And you smash him dead. Uh, yeah, when you smite him, 
So you swing, you hit, and then for the smite, this raven made out of light flies in and smashes him into his chest and blows the upper half of the zombie apart. <laughs> nice. The, the back half, the bottom half staggers back and then falls over. Yes. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. That's it for but me. But you still have a bonus action. Yeah. Look, Donna but is going to fly in and just try to cleave uh, the remaining three zombies, one of them. So, cleave. Whoa, she's doing super good. Nice, yeah. Yep. This uh, is a uh, nine points of damage. <laughs> yeah, this is a paladin, legendary paladin we're talking about here. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. You have a stand. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God, when, when, when do I get a stand? When do I get? <laughs> when I wear star platinum? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So your stand is called Avatar Korra. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? There we go. I'll go with that. <laughs> yeah, Fire yep. doesn't need to stand. He can stand himself. Hey, there we go. <laughs> All right, go. so uh, is that your turn, Sal? Yeah, that's it. That's my turn. All right. Kelby Castor, you're up. Okay. Like I can move around and not paralyzed anymore? Um, let me let me check the stats. No, you got to end your turn and repeat the save. Oh. Okay, so I got to Okay, I got to make another con save essentially. Yep. All right, you guys, still covered in blood and gore, just going yeah. like. Mm. <laughs> That's a success. <sighs> Good. <laughs> Get it out of my mouth. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 all right, that's my turn. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. All right, next up. Nice. Okay, next up is Ice, and she is going to drop fourth level spell. To drop ice storm on top of you guys, hey, using awesome. her wand, yep, using her wand to keep you safe. So now the surviving zombies, they need to make cons. No dexterity says that's even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they all fail pitifully. <laughs> yes. Wow. All right. Give me some more corpsicles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be corpsicles. Um, it's more going to be flattened. Cor <laughs> it's basically going, going to be paste. Yeah. Let's just yeah. Paste. yeah. Let's leave it at that. There's one that's still standing. I mean, as long as we're talking about stands, the ones that's still standing with one hit point, but. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of them, but have been the rest of them have been turned into paste. Good. Uh, Good. Now the zombies turn. Ice is going to end it there. Zombies. Uh, one of them is going to shuffle up to Kelby. Mm-hmm. And he's going to swing at you. You got it. What is your AC? Sixteen. He misses with a fifteen. <sighs> So basically, you're like you're cleaning yourself off. You're like, hey, get the gunk off of me, and you just you step out of the way. You yeah. miss barely, miss getting, <laughs> miss getting clawed. Yeah, it's by like real thing. cartoony. It's like, get it off yeah. me, and then you pat yeah, your Kel, head. Yeah, Kel is a very cartoony in the, where he's like, he's just like flailing his arms around, yeah. and he's like, and I throw some blood at the zombie's face. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. You see your friend getting harassed by zombies. Well, How actually, many? you see him getting her. Uh, one. Right now. Yeah. Call lightning! Yes. I'm like, Philo! <laughs> Ooh, pretty nice. good! <laughs> and you blow the zombie up, and nice. it happens again, Kelby! No! <laughs> damn it, Philo! <laughs> <laughs> Kelby was just happy. Oh, I finally get this off! And everything just comes back. Hey, you all right? Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. Yep, never mind. <laughs> all right. Um, one last one, or is it all? Nope, there's none of them left. They're nice. gone. Um, yeah, ice is immediately going to misty step twice to get up to you. Okay. Okay. And then you see her. Then she immediately starts casting a spell, a special, a special spell prepared for her from a scroll, onto the gem set into the um. Set into the into part of the well. Oh, there is okay. a gem on it. Sorry. Yeah, yeah that's, that's where the gem. It's the magic going. focus yeah. gem that keeps the portal running. So okay, she casts right, a spell. Yeah, that's the one. Sorry. And then she reaches in and she 
pulls it out. Like right as there's a zombie arm reaching up from the out of the well, she pulls the gem out, and the portal like zaps shut and cuts the arm off. Nice. Portal hey. cut. Nice. <laughs> nice. So classic. Yep. All right. All right. Uh, um, what about the, the ogres? Are they still standing? Uh, the revenants. I was gonna say the revenants are finishing up with the ogres. Nice. But as they Oof. finish, as the last one goes down, the portal flares, and it's like it shoots like this beam of lightning up that smashes into the ceiling, oh. and then all the zombie carcasses, all the zombie parts, all the zombie gore immediately goes flying into that beam of lightning shooting up from the portal. Wait, what? Is it like a suction? Oh, I'm, or... I'm taking a st step back. I'm I'm stepping away from that. Yeah, Ice is like, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm, yeah. I'm backing away. This did not happen. This did not happen the last time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah, gonna... we've never actually oh. seen this happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, yeah, judging by the look on Ice, this is not supposed to happen. Uh... So what the is that? Ice is is this part of the plan or what? This is. This is uh, some kind of magical backlash. I'm, I'm not sure what happened. I, I know I read the scroll. I, right. Oh, I it's Leviosa, go. not Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ice. 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 Seriously. Why did you do that? We're goddamn Leviosa. Seriously. No. <laughs> it, should, it, it should. It should close but i'm not sure what's happening well whatever yeah. it is happening we don't want to stay well, we gotta here. we, we gotta, gotta close run. it now or... yep we gotta well, it's closed i said like, it's closed but we, we don't need to and then like right as she's explaining the it the beam stops as instantly as it began oh. and floating in the beam is a fully formed and very much alive beholder fucking Yo, hell. Hell. Yeah, it's time to go it's time to go Are time you to being go serious <laughs> <laughs> it immediately focuses its central eye on all of you to shut down your magic abilities. Oh shit! Oh. Um, you, Sal, you hear the clanging sound yep. as Lugdana's sword falls to the ground. I go ahead and grab now, her. The, yeah. Now here's the it, here's the curious thing. It actually looks like Philo. What? It, you know, Philo had one big eye in the middle of his forehead. But <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like him. There's even like two where his normal eyes would be. There's even like two little vestigial eyes, and instead of hair, he's got the beholder eye stalks. Philo, and all the little eyes just immediately focus, home in and focus on Philo. Oh no! And then the hey there. And then the beholder speaks. Here it says. So, you thought you could control me, huh? You know, that's because you killed that old zombie and that you created me. You thought you could control me, huh? Well, guess what? I answer to nobody, bitch. I answer only to myself. But, oh. it's my birthday. Uh, I'm going to let you off. I'll let you leave alive. But, actually, I will destroy you for your impertinence. We will meet again. Father. No, you won't. <laughs> no, you won't. I will try to warhammer him. He's not floating with it where you can reach. He's floating like thirty feet up in the air. Oh, oh man! I, look, I, I, look at I ice javelin and I him. Get... Damn it! I just like I, I don't know. <laughs> I just like don't look at me. This doesn't look good. I will like, try. Uh, wait, don't throw kill. the javelin! Don't throw the javelin! And like I just look <laughs> at this beholder and I say. Well, girl, like, well, I don't know what to call you, but why do you look like me? Don't he, he, <laughs> she <laughs> just called it, it just called you father. Wait, what? But yeah, but it was saying uh, that the whole time. It's gonna use its disintegration eye ray to carve a hole in the wall, and then its telekinesis ray to push out the rubble from the hole, and it's gonna say, Later, losers! And goes immediately flying out. Can I javelin him, please? Uh, javelin, make the javelin attack. Alright. <laughs> I am. Um, uh... Nice! <laughs> <laughs> nice! Yes! Nice! <laughs> nice! <laughs> so you basically javelin him in the butt. Nice. <laughs> well, where the boulder's butt would be. But uh, yeah, it's immediately. He's just like, What the hell is wrong with you, boy? You! Oh, you need to control your friends, Dad. Don't you have any care for your son? And then he's going to use his telekinesis ray to pull the javelin out and send it flying right back at uh, Sal. I knew it. Deflect missiles! 
Ooh, nice! <laughs> Kelvin, you want to deflect missiles? Go ahead. I'm not. I'm not gonna throw it back at him, but I want to deflect missiles. God damn it! Just watch. Do it. Well, um, well, yeah. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, it's, uh, one. So seventeen. Wow, that's full. That's so. Full. I prevent seventeen points of damage. Nice. Oh yeah, you basically you reach out. You just you just reach out. Just grab the spear. You don't even have to nod. You just grab it. Yeah. In front, right before yeah, you. Shot, actually, you know what I want. You know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. Actually, I want to grab it and then just slowly step next to Sal and just hand it over. Very okay. <laughs> All right. Tyler's just it. open mouth, like he doesn't know what to say. Like, uh. All right. So yeah. he's doing telekinesis, right? He did. He did telekinesis to throw it down, but he's looking away from you, so it's not within the um, anti magic aura. But yeah, he did that. He, he just slipped out of the hole, and he's flying away, laughing to himself. I don't like this. <laughs> I really don't like I, this. I I, I, I'm, I, I'm looking... I shrug, and I'm like, well, we did get the gem. We don't we need got... to fight my you know, son. We don't Ice need to is, fight uh, a beholder. Ice is writing notes down in a little notebook. No, <laughs> I was feeling like we let loose something terrible. I, I mean, knowing my son, uh, he is gonna he destroy us one day. You'll see. <laughs> he won't uh, do that to his father. <laughs> um, can oh I God. do a history check to see if I know anything that could happen to this? Because in char out of character, yeah. I have a really or good picture. Or you can make an arcana check to see what you know about beholders. Yes, please. Yeah, that could be. Thank Milo you. Is He's just like Ten. I, I have, have no clue. Son? Fuck. <laughs> Beholders are giant floating heads that shoot lasers. Yes. The central eye can shut down magic. That's it. But you already knew that. Yep. That's all I know. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at like yeah. So it's like, well, the thing is, we're not exactly equipped to fight a beholder. I mean, he's because because this is this seems connected to the plane. Of, no, like, the Morgan, thing is, right? No, no, no. The thing is, yeah, why is he it's, fleeing? It did have a distinct greenish tint to it. The beholder. Yeah, it did. The beholder. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good to know. The thing is, why if he's so powerful? Uh, so from the knowledge I gather from about beholder, they are narcissistic, you know, creatures, right? Yeah. And they <laughs> normally don't tolerate <laughs> defiance, right? I mean, like. Yeah. So I was like, why is he fleeing? Like a beholder that powerful should already well, kill us when he, he presents says, himself. He said it's his birthday. So he's gonna rush you <laughs> off because he's feeling generous. He's feeling yeah. generous. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, Mike, I suggest we take my my son's gift and we should go. You know I, what? Yeah. He's already I'm, gone. I'm so with the midget. That doesn't really matter. Yeah. The boulder's gone. Yeah. It's flying off. You can hear it yeah. cackling in the distance. Yeah. <laughs> Ice just seems a little more perturbed that uh, it carved a hole in the wall than the fact that it's a boulder running loose. <laughs> Seriously, All right, I, I seriously, think, you worry more I, about walls. I, I, I just look at well, ice. It's historical. Like, Beholders come and go, but this is a historical castle. Uh, mm -hmm. You're right, I guess. I, I just look at ice and go, well, I think I've had enough of these undead creatures and this undead place. It's. <laughs> yeah, let's go somewhere else. Spawns from. Yeah, that's probably should go. All right, yeah, she's just going to say, well, um, well. Guess what? Next time around, we are going. You are going to uh, a place that is full of insanity, and that'll give you a choice. That sounds about which even one. worse. <laughs> Don't we have a so, happy place we can go to? You know, like a fairyland or something. You know, the more plane cheerful? of candy. The plane of candy was not deemed profitable, so we didn't really use that portal very much. Well, that's bullshit. You ever heard of Bulk Barn? <laughs> <laughs> oh. A million dollar idea waiting to happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Plus, uh, this is well. Plus, you know, we're not. Plus, we were muscling in on somebody else's ter turf when we tried to get into the candy business. So, uh, yeah. Fair enough. Fair I mean, enough. salts. You, you've heard the tale of the industrious rogue, haven't you? We're not yes. doing that. Shit. <laughs> I do so. So I look at ice and I say, "Okay, so it's the realm of insanity." And you say we have a choice. Yeah, well, there are three realms of insanity you can choose from. Yeah, I you can think choose from yeah, Limbo. Yeah. You can choose from the Feywild, or you can choose Pandemonium. Yep. Hey, we can go back to my back, uh, my back 
backyard and go to the field, but bro, this it is not a backyard. There. Yep. Just, bro, a really huge wild. backyard. Bro, it is, uh, you don't want to go to the Feywild. Exactly. That place is, uh, I place say that. Nightmares. <laughs> but, um, Every so Feywild uh, also gives you the sanity and nightmares and all that shit. So, just, yeah, everything's got emotions in the Feywild. I was there exactly once. Everything. Mm-hmm. Every, every blade of grass, every twig, every rock, every leaf. It's enough to drive you insane. Okay. All right. Well, um, oh, what was I going to say? Well, I mean, I prefer either Limbo or Pandemonium, mm. I, I guess. Yeah. Maybe Limbo Pandemonium? sounds fun. It says, well, okay. first, you need to know about them. And she's le- this is as she's leading you away from the now deactivated undead portal. She says, well, Limbo is a place of elemental chaos. Okay. It's a place all the elements start crashing and crushing and crumbling together um, you might have like a big bubble of water that turns into a bubble of acid then a bubble of earth and then the bubble of earth sets itself on fire and then the fire turns into acid fire <laughs> and yeah you're st- I, I can see you're getting confused you know that's exactly what this place is like okay okay now pandemonium is like limbo except Actually, it's not even like Lemma Pandemonium is a basically a big series of underground tunnels. Uh, there's a constant wind blowing through there, and the wind will drive you insane. Hmm, okay. All right. Honestly, I have a... Weirdly enough, I kind of feel like we'd be better off at Limbo because I do have some minor control over some elements. I'd feel I'd be able to at least help out a little bit. Yeah. In limbo, not with that wind. It's like I said, it'll drive you insane. All right, uh, limbo well, or pandemonium. I'm pandemonium. kind of voting for limbo personally. Limbo. I'm fine with limbo. I actually want to go to Feywild, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Philo is like, yeah, let's not go there. Um, it's not a good idea. But everywhere like, seems Fylo, like a terrible idea. At least in Feywild, everything's like... a terrible idea. And like Philo is just like. You know what? You know what? Let's roll a dice. Let's roll a dice to see what happens. So for option for uh, how how should I put this? Uh, I will roll let's one roll a d6. Let's roll d6. For one t- and two, let's go to Pandemonium. For two, uh, three and four, let's go to Feywild. For five and six, let's go to the final. What was it? Sorry. Pandemonium. First is Limbo, then it's Feywild. Oh, then sorry. Fe- first Limbo, yeah. second Pandemonium. Uh, second Feywild, then lastly Pandemonium. Let's roll it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that's a fair thing because at this point we're all gonna get insane. So. Yeah. So yeah. you know what? Let's I mean, have the like DM like roll for us. Let's have the DM roll. Yeah. For us. Right. <laughs> Oh boy, here we yeah. go. It's not like Three. Milo's already insane with the fact that he has a son. I that's believe in you. I, I believe in you, Falcon. <laughs> yeah. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Three. Well, Feywild. Feywild. To the Feywild, gentlemen. To the Feywild, Feywild it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're all gonna die. Yeah, Ice is matter. going to actually excuse herself because she wants to get her spell slots back and tell the Lakewood family what happened. Tell okay. the family what happened here. Okay. Um, do we think that, like, do we think we could find a place to rest up or sleep before yeah, we make a our... rest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can okay. take a rest in, um, you can take a rest at, uh, at her carriage. Um, it's going to be cash just like what is going to take you there. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, when you give it to the Feywild. So we can get okay. a long rest? Yep. Oh, uh, if you want, yeah. Yep. Yeah, sure. I'll we will do rest. that. Philo needs some time to think with the suddenly, like, the sudden parenthood out of nowhere. <laughs> Jesus yeah. <laughs> yep. Mm. All right. So much mixed violence. feelings. Yeah. Even in feelings. even like me is just a person. I'm so mixed right now. Oh I mean, God. maybe 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 20 sessions from now he'll come back and we'll be able to convince him to join our team, and then yeah. we'll have a little mini be- beholder. <laughs> he'll send a he'll send a gazer to help you. Yeah. He will send yeah. a basket <laughs> saying, "I hate you, Dad," and. You know, <laughs> I'm not gonna come back to you know our anniversary and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's what you'll do. And I just respond with, "Yeah, I love you too, son." 
<laughs> yeah, that's the moment. That's yeah. very accurate. Yeah, that's very <laughs> accurate. Dad, fuck you. Love your son. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I is mean, that beholder yeah. a baby beholder? I mean, it's a fully grown beholder. Oh, seriously? I thought it was a baby beholder. It's, it's a grown ass, fully uh, full grown beholder. That's how they're born. They're born that way. Yeah, no, I'm saying I, I watched it on. Yeah. Sorry, I watched it online. There's a baby beholder part. It's so cute. You should go search. It's like <laughs> the stats that it shoots uh, makes you dizzy, makes you want to sleep, and uh, I think yeah, there's all kinds of cute stuff. I thought you were referencing yeah. from that. So what what like, uh, what were yeah. you gonna say, Philo? Sorry, sorry. Philo, you go ahead. It's just like I bet, like like we're gonna long rest, right? Yeah, we He's so con like he's gonna he's gonna feel like he's gonna start drawing. His son in the journal, <laughs> <laughs> like thinking, like, how do I take care of a beholder? How how does one like raise a beholder? Yeah. And like, he, he doesn't even have a mom, so he kind of feels guilty, but also kind of like, he didn't give us a chance. Yeah, and then, I'm a single uh, father now. <laughs> I'm a single father now. Like I'm expecting a child. Uh, yeah. This is a this is this is a hell of a responsibility yeah. that has been thrust yeah, onto like, our our boy Philo. Yeah, oh boy. <laughs> oh, I just realized too. So Viral has a golem wife at the start, and now Philo has a beholder child. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cycle is that, completes is that, The cycle continues. Yeah. <laughs> oh, if man. we want to go full circle, I have to play a girl PC next, and I'll get the yeah. husband. Yeah, yeah, there true. You go. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, we'll get a golem husband, though. Yeah. All right. Hey, uh, I wouldn't I, I, that. I, I'll probably just, uh, I'll probably, for my long rest, I'll probably just meditate and yeah. clean myself a bit with my water abilities. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also, I, is Falcon gone? Yeah, is he gone? Yep, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no. He's gone. I was like, we he's, lost he's our DM. For, he's uh, been quiet for a while. Yeah. Oh, in the meantime, oh. I'll probably search for the baby beholder. I was like, it was so what? cute. I can't tell oh, you how no. cute it is. Chibi beholder. Yeah. Like, this is the first time, like, as a character, Philo doesn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what's happening? He has never gone through parenthood because, like, his wife and him then decide to get a child and now like there's a child with him and he's gonna he's like what well that's that's what i mean it will be an interesting dynamic if he comes back i mean he probably will he will definitely <laughs> he like... doesn't he like you know it's like he doesn't even get the joy of it seeing him being raised you know it's just like bam <laughs> he's fully grown there yeah. you go i'm just glad i got to use to flick missiles <laughs> yeah that is really awesome we've I been got rolling to use what so well today it's like amazing. yeah this was this is pretty good yeah it's to I make like up yeah yeah sorry sorry say what you're gonna say Didn't mean to get you it's like I f it feels like a mix of interstellar you know the scene where they suddenly see their children grow up <laughs> yeah like in that, oh my like, god oh my god oh but god like, yeah it, it's weird because he never had the connection with the with his child in the first place but he still feels bad because it's his child <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> God, so that much scene. mixed feelings. Yeah, oh, yeah that so scene in the stellar is rough. <laughs> it was rough. I almost cried at that. Yeah. Oh, he's coming back yeah, online. He's back. Yeah, what were you saying? Uh, me? Yeah. Oh no, I was I was saying like, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. To see uh, that blossom. <laughs> there uh, we go. For sure. Hey, hey, he's back. Nice. There we go. It must be cloudy outside. I, I didn't check, but it's I know the bad. baby beholder is scheming up something. I just didn't expect this to be so quick. It's like <laughs> the loss of connection must be one of them. Yeah, the beholder <laughs> took out our DM. Yeah, <laughs> it takes more than that to take me down. Yeah. Hey. So so yeah, we're going to the Feywild. This will be fun. This will be super fun. <laughs> We'll be super dead. Oh, I wish, hey, I wish Philo go. had the chance to grow that beholder. But no. <laughs> Philo got the big ass beholder grown grown yeah. grown everything. And he's just yeah. there. Yeah, this is yeah. the one. Right. So cute. Alrighty. So Ice is uh, so you're gonna take a long rest? Yeah, we mm -hmm. all are. We all are. Alright. Mm. You take a long rest. Philo dreams of his baby beholder <laughs> flying through there, still cackling. <laughs> yep. I mean, 
he it's it feeling, won't be off his mind for like a very long time. Yeah, he's feeling like he's feeling like why won't my baby come back to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm alone, you know what? Crying yeah. yourself to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Why does he only come back to, to come back to me for money or laundry? <laughs> <laughs> why does he only come back to try to kill me and my friends? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we will. Don't worry, with Kelby's charisma, I will be <laughs> able to convince them to join us. Oh man! <laughs> but uh, I'm probably actually. You know what? Uh, mm-hmm. Realistically, Philo talking, I'm thinking about family and stuff like that. I'm probably awake, kind of just looking into the compass a bit, kind of mm. reminiscing a little. Oh. So, okay. Kel's a little bit quiet actually that morning yeah. once we wake up. Yep. All right. When you wake up, um, Cassius Lakewood is uh, going to be ready for you. He's uh, you remember him. He's the uh, he doesn't really speak. He seems like a cheerful fellow with a deep mm-hmm. voice, um, but he's also a paladin of Tiamat. Mm-hmm. I do remember yeah. him. Mm-hmm. So he was at the he's, table, I think. Yeah. So he is. Um, He's got his sword ready. Actually, no, not a sword. What's it? Uh, he's got his glaive ready. Uh, he's just he's he's uh, sitting down. He's just calmly just watching the sunrise. He says, you "Ready to go?" Yes, we are. Yep. Yeah, I'm. I'm ready. Whatever you guys are. All right, let's do this. Mm-hmm. I will follow behind my companions. Yep. All right. Actually, hang on, let me see if he'll do this first. Do something first. Um, Philo is still deep in thought about <laughs> being a father. Yep. Mm. Uh, hmm. I'm looking at this, I don't know. No, he's not going to do it, it's going to take too long. Um, he is going to. He will lead you down into the castle, into the part of the port, into the part of the castle that leads you to the Feywild. Ooh. <laughs> um, Glasses. <laughs> yep. Yeah, as he uh, leads, yeah, as he leads you and into this part, it's uh, you get the feeling that this place was once like magic, had like magic laboratories, which is why the Feywild chose to form here. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you go, you can see like there are vines and stuff growing out of cracks on the wall. Okay. Um, um, do they seem magical in any way? The vines, or they're definitely more vibrant. Like you don't find this particular shade. This vibrant a shade of green in the natural world. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, this is what I need. Whew. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, maybe maybe this place will be a little bit nicer, you know, than uh... <laughs> not so much. Just just the sights. Everything else sucks. Yeah, we will probably uh... need to go faster and just kind of finish what we what we came for and just leave. Well, as 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 long as we keep focused and we have caches with us, I'm sure we'll be able to do it. We just have to stick together as a group and not split up. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Agree. Okay. Okay. So, who is leading? Is Cash leading? Yeah, Cassius is leading. Mm, all right, cool. We follow him. Like as fast as we could. Uh, yeah, like I said, you're following him. Um, yeah, you're following him. It's, you can see, like, this definitely, like, the stonework, the castle, the masonry is slowly being overrun by this rampant growth from the Feywild. Mm-hmm. It's... Uh, it's ominous. Hmm. Fuck. That's that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't shoot it. Don't shoot it. Please swear to God, don't shoot it. Uh, Wait, seriously? There is a sound hear, in the do back. Do I hear that voice? Holy shit! You can hear. hear the, yes, you can hear someone crying. Okay, wait, I say no. I can't hear you. We're sorry. Uh, you said what? Sorry, you were breaking up. Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, yeah, I can hear, I can you, hear, I can hear you, you, but you were breaking. I up. just okay. I just say okay. 
Okay, no, we are not going towards that. Don't That's trust the voice. Cassius Don't says, over. Cassius says, we really have no choice in the matter. Seriously? Back Why? get to the portal. Seriously? Fuck. Uh, okay. okay no. Just leave it alone. Okay. We don't Let's say anything to it. Okay. You know what? If don't say anything. Don't make eye contact. Just, just leave it alone. You know what? Just, okay. We need Blow to exactly. use earplugs. Uh, earplugs. Sorry. Uh, earplugs. Uh, I. Uh, I'm actually gonna take a cloth. Yeah, me too. And yeah. I'm going to plug in. Cover my eyes. Room. Yeah. Just kind of just yeah. like wrap it around my eyes. Yeah. Wait, your yeah. eyes. I thought you put it yes. in your ears. Because right. I don't want to see it. Because I, I know that it's going to do something if I look at it. And Kel is the kind of person that he will get, he will, it will, he'll turn his head. Yeah. So I have to do this. <laughs> All right. So. I plug. When you enter, so when you follow Cassius, he opens the door. You find a small library that had books on various topics like horticulture, horticulture, um, astrology, magic, things of that nature. The entire library looks like it's just been wrecked by someone just scratching at everything. And curled up in one corner is a woman in leather armor who looks like she's alive. Not like a zombie or anything. Don't but care. she's the source of the crying that you hear. Uh, yeah, she's just going to go across the room. He's just not going to look. Like, no yeah. eye contact. And just mm -hmm. unlock, he opens the door and beckons for you to follow. I don't hear yeah, the voice. I don't uh, follow us. Yeah, but follow I follow. Us. Yeah, Cassius. I and I yeah. know uh, because Kelby can't see because he cl he cloth his. I'm eyes. holding. I'm holding on to Sal. Yeah, so. I'm yeah. holding his hand and just grabbing. Wait, him. Yeah. hold on. Would no, no. Philo take like one glance? That's what I'm thinking about. If I took a glance, I'd tell you know what it looks like. That this is a living woman. Oh, okay. In so leather armor, who's crying on the floor. Yeah. Oh, okay. But like, would he turn his head back to look at it? That's what I'm thinking. He would, but Cassius would probably yank him through the door before he did anything stupid. Okay, then. Then I like probably disturbed with the fact that now he had, you know, he has a and everything. He figured, I don't know, his parent thing like comes out, so he takes a look and then probably gets grabbed. Yeah. Yep. Check this one out. This is amazing. <laughs> That's the stat. It's so cute, so adorable. <laughs> yeah. So adorably evil. Yes. All right. <laughs> so Philo gets dragged through the door by Cassius, who shut, quietly shuts the door behind it. Yep. It says, uh, I heard about what happened yesterday and how you're a new dad, Philo. That yes. does not mean you should let your paternal instincts make you deal with things that should not be touched. Yeah, I know, I know, I know that. I've Let's go. I'm from, I'm from the face. Yeah, I get it. pushing you along yep. away from the crying. Let's go. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yep, okay, just bring me through. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, you go for about like 10 minutes or so down through some hallways, past a few more doors, out across some battlements. <clears throat> and then you come to a grand atrium that's almost been completely overrun by uh, by vines. Uh, by vines, by, there's trees growing there. Grass is popping out of the stones of the floor. But there's also, a, um, where there was once a decorative fountain is now a large waterfall. Ooh, interesting. Ooh, okay. Um, it's sitting by the waterfall. Are these, uh, are four women with uh, green skin and leafy hair. They're kicking their feet in the water, they're whispering to each other, and they're giggling all the way. Oh. One of them turns to you and says, Oh, hey there! You guys want to play a game? No, no, hey, Don't worry, no. it's nothing bad, it's nothing bad, it's just a game of secrets. You tell us a no, secret, we'll tell you no. a secret, that's I, all it is. I've been this before, no. <laughs> you know these creatures are dryads. They're not inherently evil. They're just uh, mischievous, but not typically not maliciously so. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Philo just doesn't like playing with triads because, like, it's Do not you fun. Want to it's, play like a that, game? it's like that kid who like plays Monopoly and then they decide to cheat. Like, mm -hmm. that's just you know he's not he's not up for that. Yep. <laughs> oh no, Kel Kel's Kelby. like. Yeah, Kel's walking over. No, I Wait, grab him know? by the hand and I was just like, one, smack dude. him on the face. It's like. You stay. Don't you want to know what's at the portal? Hmm? 
I, I can't catch. hear anything any? because I plug my ears, so I ignore them. Hey, Cash, I is a, Cash. Cash is just says, yeah. whatever is at the portal, it cannot stand before my might and the might of my queen. There, there, there you go, we read how. Thank you, Dryas, but we're good. But sure. I, if, yeah, we uh, are. What, 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 if I told, what if I had told you a secret, would you tell me a secret about something else? Do we yes, stop? That's how, that's how the game works. Do we stop? No. no, did we stop? Sorry. Because I can't no, hear no. the conversation entirely. You, yeah, you, you can't stop. hear it. Yeah. I'm talking yeah. to the dragon. Yeah, but you stopped, now. right? Yeah. Yes, I did. I drag you forward. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well. And you drag you away. <laughs> one of the drugs says, But don't you want to know about Agnes? I drag so you much. forward. No, because stop, I stop, don't. Stop, I, stop, stop. Yeah. Yep. Disengage. I am running. I don't care. I grab him. All right. Make an attack roll, Sal. Try to grab him. Uh, isn't that a contest of athletics and, you know... Yeah, athletics so, versus... Your athletics versus his acrobatics. 16. Come on. Yes! 20. Damn it. Grab him. grab him by the leg uh, and he falls flat on his face. Yep. I smack him on the face again and grab him by the legs and drag away. <laughs> I look at what the dryad. You... Oh, I, about this. What's that? And then I start running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, kind of fake and just <laughs> run. Oh, come on. As I'm today? getting dragged, as I'm getting dragged away, can I make an insight on the dry eyes to see if they actually know something about Agnes? Oh uh, yeah, make an insight check. Uh, meanwhile, hang on. Yeah, you can make it. Can yeah, make dragging. an insight check. Nope. <laughs> nope. You have no clue. Um. Sal. Okay. One of the dryads is going to point a finger at the vines and grass under you, and the vines immediately start growing up to try to grab you. Okay. I make will. a strength check. All right. Fuck. Nope. You have been grabbed by the vines. They're restraining hey. you. I so utter the command able... word of Lugdana. And... Oh yeah, you release the sword, and it's yep. going to start. Cutting you out? Yes. Yep. My hands are still. Yeah, this make, my hands are still grabbed onto. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, still holding Kelby. on to me. Yeah, but this will make let Kelby make another acrobatics versus your athletics. All right. Okay. Cool. I probably have this advantage, hey, which is accurate. Yep. Uh, he slips out and yep. immediately goes sprinting over to the drives. Okay. And I'm walking behind, like, um, Sal. So can I just try like one last, like this small guy, Philo? Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I love yes, it. Do it. Hold on. All right. Acrobatics. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, you gotta, go. You're going to use athletics, I guess, to stop yeah, me? I'll use athletics because, like, that's use the only thing I can use. Use athletics, Philo. Oh. Yay! Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, nice! So, this little guy just grabs <laughs> kill me by the legs and trips him and sends him flat on his face. Yeah. And <laughs> oh. he immediately comes. And sits down on top of Kelby's head. It says, "Don't do it. They're gonna take you. And they're gonna trick you. And they're gonna make you eat berries and nuts forever." Yep. All right. I'm gonna look at Philo with just. No, no. We're not playing this game. I swear to God, I did it once. It wasn't well. Oh no. I'm gonna look at Philo seriously though, and I'm gonna just say, "But what if they do know something?" And I you just told, look at you told me that if I f I should use my time. This is me using my time. If she's in danger, I need to know. Mm. Oh God! Am I yeah. out yet? Philo, I'm being Philo is yes, just you're out. Like... He managed to chop your way. Kit Sal has just chopped his way on. Is currently making his way through the overgrown yep. woodlands. I make my way to Kelby. Okay. Yo, Philo, yo, he gives in and says, Oh, fine. And then he just like crosses his arms and then like, uh, I'm going to regret this, but you know what? Yeah, I would do the same if I was in your position. Okay. I'm Did you release slowly. him? Hold on. Did you release him? I, I, I release him. <laughs> All right. Command. I'm going to command Kelby to grovel. <laughs> Okay! Is that a wisdom save? Yes. Okay. 
This is awesome. This is everything I Come wanted. Come on. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I failed. It's a 14. So. I, I, I it's a, no, it's oh, wait. It's, it's a wisdom save. Fun. Hold on. It's a wisdom save. Yeah, yeah but that was my wisdom save. Way. I I don't have a I don't have a train save. No, that was my wisdom save. But it doesn't matter. You need to it, roll for a save instead of a. Oh wisdom. come on! It's a, it's a D20 it's plus a, three. It's the same number anyway. Uh, all right, fine. Yeah. Damn it! Yeah, Philo just Philo sits down <sighs> and I just and he looks at you, Sal, and just let him have it, and we'll just jump in. I right can't now. hear you. That's the problem. <laughs> Uh, I will go I on sign, and do it. I, I do assign things like we'll just help him once he's done with this, okay? And then thumbs up. I can't. No, All right, I'm. Hold on, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try an intelligence check to see if I can understand Philo in his sign language. Mm. I have no clue what he's doing. It's all gibberish. <laughs> I'm gonna do it's command hard. again. <laughs> Fuck Cassius him. is going to grab yeah, him by the shoulder. He's gonna pull one piece of cloth out of his ear. I just want to say, let Kelby have his fun. What? If he if something happens to him, I will be more than happy to butcher them. Until uh, then, if you put it let him me. have his fun. Fun? We're not here for fun, remember? I know we're not here for fun, but the portal isn't going anywhere. It's not like it's going to grow legs and wander off. Yeah, Philo sits down, lies down on the grass, and like whatever. If you whatever, put it like, that way, I guess. What was he trying work. to do anyway? I I didn't they hear offered any him of the conversation about. They offered him information about someone called Agnes. Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, that that pretty much sums it up. All right, fine. Do it. All right. Damn Have it. fun. I'm fucking I gonna regret over. this. All right, so you go over to them, and then the yeah. and the dryads make room for you to sit down. Okay, do I sit in the pool, I guess, in the water? No, you can sit. They're sitting at the edge. They're not sitting in the pool. They're sitting on the edge, and they're just kicking their oh. feet in the water. Damn okay. it. Um, so, uh, what I'm just saying, well, if you want to know how to get to Agnes, you should give us a secret first. Tell us the good one. Make it good, yeah. Make it real good. A secret? Yeah, a secret uh, that, only, that only you know. Uh, well... You know, see, Cal gets a bit quiet. I... I guess I've never told anyone this, I, I guess, but... I've been looking for my family for a long time, and... Honestly, as much as I really want to see them... I'm kind of afraid of it. I'm afraid that this journey that I'm taking, I won't. I might not even be the me that they remember. It's weird, but it's kind of a a conflicting fear, I guess. Well, then you get to introduce yourself to them. You get to know each other all over again. After all, I can't imagine a day would, wouldn't be changed. I guess that's true. We all kind of change in our own weird little ways. Yeah. Is that an alright so, secret? They, 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 uh, the drives whisper to each other. And, uh... They'd say, That works, yes? Now, now here's our little secret about Agnes for you. Okay. You see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You, uh, you are going to have a kid. That kid's gonna have a kid. That kid's gonna have a kid. And so on. <laughs> and like your great, great, grand, whatever is, is going to save the world. Uh. Oh. No. Here's well. the thing. Here's the thing. No, 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 no. Listen. But you see, by saving the world and preventing it from meeting its end. You prevent, uh, you prevent the world from ending, and you prevent a monster, a creature called Igoral, from being born. Igoral wants to kill you to prevent that from happening, to let the world end so he can be born. So what happened was, Agnes made a bargain with a man named Avard. She offered him her soul in return for your safety from Igoral. 
Yeah. She really loved you, you know that, right? Oh, fucking hell. Well, I... if you, didn't, you know now. So all you gotta do is go find a Vard and get her soul back from him. Uh, would I even know who a Vard is? Make an arcana check with disadvantage. You got I it. I doubt it. I doubt it. It's gonna be hard. Disadvantage. You got it. Seven. Seven. Nope. Your well, first off, may have mentioned him once. You think, or was that Evan? You're not sure. Bio, you have no just... idea who it is either. Kel is mm, okay. just just having a little bit of. I'm sorry, but that's all we know. She did it because she loved you and she wanted to keep you safe. Yeah, that kind of sounds like her. Kel Plus, actually... you know, she thought, you know what, it's just a soul. She doesn't really need that. <laughs> nope. Well, yeah. I'm glad that I, uh, yeah, I'm glad that I caused more pain to other people. With you didn't. She's not, you didn't. You're fine. You're okay. It's all right. Here, and one of them puts up a handful of says, Here, eat some dirt. You'll feel better. <laughs> uh, it's a local I'm not cuisine. Really hung. Just I'm not it. really hungry right now. But it's, it's fine. Eat some dirt. Here, that the one of them takes a pinch and eats it herself. So see, it's fine. Eat it. Go on. It's a local I'll cuisine. Eat. It's I'll rude to dirt. refuse. It's a handful of dirt. dirt. Alright, you eat the I'll... dirt and yeah. Um and I need you. Oh yes. no. This is gonna be I need you to make a charisma save. Oh boy. Negative one! Let's go! <laughs> uh... You are your despair is uh, calmed. Oh, oh! Despair is suppressed, so you still feel bad about this, but you no longer are just like the whole. I'm just you're no longer feeling sorry for yourself. Ah, uh, calm, emo calm emotions. Nice. Exactly. Okay. You're under the effect of calm emotion spell. See, and one of the drives says, "See, don't you feel better?" I I do now. I I know what I need to do. Yeah, all you gotta do is find a bard. You gotta take the soul back. Take the soul back from him. That's it. it. She's fine. She'll be fine. You can have her raised from the dead. You can have her. You can probably, I guess, maybe keep it in the jar or something if you like. I don't know. What do people do with souls nowadays? <laughs> what do people do with souls? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> this is the dead. Wait, wait. Hold up. Wait, she's dead? Well, her soul's not yeah. in her body, so technically that counts as death. Yep. Yeah. I, that's, okay, I that's, see. Okay, I see. But that's why. Possession. That's why. That's why they had to give me the dirt because I'm not feeling too good about that. Yeah. It's it's all right. Just uh, here. Like, you feel like here. Eat some more dirt. Yeah. Uh, Kel is just gonna look at them seriously and go. I'm. I'm gonna finish this mission with the Lake Wits. And I'm going to do everything in my power to bring her back, to get her soul back from Lavar. Yeah. And I'm yeah, going to so look at the dryads, good. and I'm going to say, luck with that. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't worry, the liquids can... This is the the liquids will probably help you with that. They have a few secrets of their own that could help you. I think I've heard enough secrets for one day. And I leave. Mm. Suit yourself. Bye. 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 And they'll wave at you. They'll wave goodbye. Yeah. Kel has right. a sort of stoned face kind of look. He's calm, but this is a lot yeah. on him. And then uh, one of them is going to look at. Uh, one of them is going to look at something. Like, what about you? Do you have anything you have? Anything that you want to share? Oh. What? Sal. Me? Oh, uh, Sal, yeah. yeah. I I look at them and I was like, eh, not really at the moment. Well, I don't have I don't have many secrets. I'm just a ordinary guy. 
<laughs> and Violet Kelby, I'm so different. sorry I slept you slapped you in the it's, face. I thought they were okay. evil or something. No, 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 no. I. It's no problem, Sal. I understand. I'm. I just know what I need to do now, more than ever. And we'll help you with it. I nod. Yeah, we Thank will. You. Yep. And I guess that's it for me. Uh, Philo, do you have anything you want to ask? Yeah, Philo like looks at the dryads, like has a has a smirk and say, "Hey, you up for a game?" Do you have a secret you want to tell us? Well, depends. You have a secret to tell me? We might. And then they just start giggling to each other. Uh, you know what? Let's take a chance. And he's gonna like stick. He's gonna stand up and head over to their like seating arrangement thing. Like by the mm. water. Yep. Alright, so they scoot aside and they let him sit down. So, what's your secret, Philo? Hmm. He, like, looks off to the side, not really sure if he should say this, but. Um, he says, um. Like, he just keeps thinking and thinking, like, really hard if he really wants to say this. Mm. He there. says... He says this, um... After centuries of living my life on different sites, different places, I'm still not over the that my wife, no matter how much I say I am. It grinds me to this day, it eats me away that every day I look at my bedside without her. And you I really wake sleep up. in bed here. Well, she's just not beside me. That's the point. And he just like looks really sad about it because he just accepts his weakness that he can't ever get over his wife's death. Mm, one of them, uh, with each other and say, well, here's our little secret for you. <laughs> yes. Summer's End is not a usual death trap. Hmm. Well, it is still it, a death trap, right? In a way, in a way it's just, it's... It's built so that anybody who dies, every, the dungeon remains as, it, as you left it, but anyone who dies within there is resurrected within 12 hours outside of the front. They can go in, find their bodies of their original attempt, but they won't have memories of what happened there. Oh. So, okay. it, it, and so it's going to take, you need a will of titanium to get through that place. It is a very... So I, you have to ask yourself, Philo, how long are you willing to suffer in order to make it through? Oh, how long are you willing to fight to get the answer you want? <laughs> he like laughs like... Uh, That's a secret even we don't know. Hmm. <laughs> uh, how many one thing I want are in eternity, Philo? You have to answer that question if you want to make it through summer's end. <laughs> Every second without her feels like an eternity. So what's the what's the point? They're gonna look at each other and they're gonna give each other a knowing smile. And they're gonna say, "If you want to know more, you're gonna have to tell us another secret." <laughs> Killing me. Uh <laughs> <laughs> secret trading. We took vows. Of, we took vows of pacifism. We're not gonna kill you. I mean, a chance you maybe tie you up with grass and maybe, but kill you never. <laughs> okay, I'm not too sure about this. Um, hold on, let me word it properly. Okay. You can do it. Ah, oh, this is so fucked up though. Wait, do I say it? Should you say it? 
Oh, I'm very scared. Yeah, me too. Oh boy, that's never a good sign. If you have to ask if it's fucked up, it probably is. All right, I'll fucking I'll just send you the initial idea and tell me if it if it will fit in because we haven't delved that much to the backstory of Philo. Yeah, so I'll just send like, a quick like. Oh boy. Oh boy. Although what it it can be an ambiguous, but then that's basically it. Oh. So that's the secrets you tell them. Yeah, but I I have to say it. So Philo. No, you don't have to up? say it. If you don't want the other two to know, you don't have to say it. Yeah. Well, we it's only fair. It. I have I feel like it's fair that out of character they know, but I expect them in character to have to like no you know, okay. Yeah. All right. Because that's what Calby did, and it's only fair if I do it. So Philo starts steering up and says. I am so scared of grief and loss that once, like ever since I knew that I would marry her, that I would be dealing with grief for the rest of my life. And we, we had a child, but I couldn't deal with it again. So I made sure that our child never lived in the first place. Ooh, all the dry to me was like, oh, that's a heck of a secret. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they turn to you, you, they lean in close to you, file, and they say, within summer's end, there is no traps. There is only one monster. A powerful okay. monster made to kill anyone that enters that castle. The only way to end find the secret is to somehow get through a wall of diamond one mile long. Okay. Are you willing to punch your way through a mile of diamond all the while while fighting and trying to kill this monster that's fighting you? Because if you're not, you'll never learn its secret. Well, I have time to work it out. <laughs> That's what they always say. I'm different. That's what they say, too. <sighs> then maybe I'm just stupid enough to actually do it. You're the fifth one to say that. Uh, <laughs> That's not even original. Then, this fifth. Although, let's be fair, the first one to say that actually was that stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, let yeah. me be the second. Ready? And then Philo, like, okay, that's like he stretches, and that's it for him. All right. What about you, Sal? The Sounds thing like is, nah. I don't have anything to trade. Everyone knows yeah. my Secrets? story. Yeah, there's no secrets at all. What do I have to offer? And what possibly do you guys have that could interest me? You see... Your mentor? Well, he's pa he passed away. So He passed away from a disease, but paladins are immune to disease. How did that happen, I wonder? Hmm. Fuck. Sal mm -hmm. no. <laughs> was like... Okay, this this kind of reminds him of the last question he was given the chance to ask, but he make he it refused. swift. Yeah, he refused to do so. Uh, he was like, okay, so what do you want to know? What secrets do you have that only you know? Fuck. Alright, uh, let's see. I... 
Okay. All right. Uh, can you guys? Well, uh, I I will do so as well. But in character, they shouldn't know. It's the same to everyone. So yeah. 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 Okay. Um, All right. Yeah. I walk yeah. towards the dryads. Yeah, they made room so you can sit down. Yeah, I was like. So. I. Okay, so how should I put this? I don't think I earn my place in the city guard fair and square. People just takes me in because I was my mentor student, and he was well respected in the town. And there was a tryout. Uh, there were a lot more qualified cadets, but I was the only one chosen to be the new city guard under night watch. And if I wasn't so incompetent. Maybe I could spot the first sign of the disease because I always have to suspicion that there was one man who entered our town. That's the one who caused the disease. Man or woman? I'm not too sure. So it, w it was it was my one week of making it to the night watch. I was on duty that night, and there was this this hooded figure just comes up and. It's in the middle of the night, so he or she claimed that they they want to get in, you know. And there are wolves outside, and I let him in without letting anyone else know. But the next day, when I tried to find him and you know uh, ask him, ask he or she how he did. I can't. I couldn't find this person, and that's when the first case of disease. It was my sister. So maybe, maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe he's just another guy just passing through the town without me knowing. But I couldn't help but wonder. Yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, you want to look at each other, the dragon, and look at each other, and say, that's a couple different secrets there. You've heard two answers from us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> the right. first answer is the one you the, you decided not to get from from the circus. Uh, you remember? Yes. Uh, how? You remember how? The, you remember the first prophecy? Yes. The hearse not made by human hands. Yes, and that was it. That was your friend. You see, when your mentor left, you remember the one time your mentor left. He took some friends with him, went on a, was going on a little pilgrimage. I he came into conflict. Yeah, when he did, he came into conflict with the circus. They fought him. They fought each other until one of them told him, until Mr. Black told him that he had it wrong. He didn't know what he was doing. He was, that your mentor was not working with the Raven, working as the Raven Queen demanded. But that's impossible. I mean, exactly. That's what he said, right? I know, right? That's what he said. So he said, you know what? I'm going to Lathena. I'm going to the Raven Queen's palace. I'm going to speak with her directly to get the truth. And did he get the truth? You're going to have to find the second hearse to learn what he learned. You know the hearse, the one made of wood taken from Philo's home. Yes, but 
we couldn't find any clues about it. Don't worry. The Raven Queen will put it in front of you when she's ready. <laughs> I guess so. That's the first secret. Okay, the second one? How second. did they die? How did who die? I mean, what? The mentor. Uh, sorry, the, the mentor. How did he die? How, how is was, that possible? He was given a sword to help him mimic paladin powers. Because you see, he was stripped of his paladin class at the end of his journey. Oh my god. That makes sense. <laughs> oh no. Uh. Yeah. It wasn't due to lack of faith, and it wasn't by the Raven Queen. Uh, what is this? Oh no. Uh, uh, and I am sending you the message. I'm just thinking of this on the go, and I just realized that there can be. Really? There can only be one. Uh, I look at him and in a kind of a shaken voice, and I say, was it more than the band blade? I look at each other and I say, You joined with them. Oh no. That's all we know. <laughs> all right. I'm like in shock, disbelief. And I just lost in thoughts. Don't you have a portal to handle? <laughs> yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was just go. reminded of that, and I was like, okay. Hey, yeah. guys, who wants to go back to the GIF Yankee? I do. <laughs> yeah, Let's I mean, go. This is way too much. And Sal just, like, turns oh, around man. and is like, uh, just, just, uh, before he turns around, he says, thank you, uh, for telling me all this. And mm. I, yeah, I turn around and just uh, goes around to join the party. <sighs> Holy shit! Fuck it, that was intense. Yeah, that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I thought we were gonna have a nice conversation with the triads in the pool. And, you know, just talk about our feelings. Well, I thought it was nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right, Ca all right, Cassius, lead the way. <laughs> yep. All right, Cassius is going to lead on, and we're going to jump to the epilogue that I promised you. All right. So all right. I Sylvana's story up with a bow. <laughs> uh, As it were. Okay. <laughs> uh, now, when the Charlon got the Charlon got the drop of blood stuck in him. Uh, Skeksis returned. He reported his success to Sylvana. Ooh, okay. So time went by until about a thousand years later, Sylvana suddenly realized that nobody was really keeping an eye on this dragon. <laughs> oh, shit. No, wait, I thought... What? No one really cares? Nope. Wait. <laughs> no, they kind of just like let him loose into the wild For to real? let him grow strong. Yeah. Holy shit. But yep. um, but he said they they knew enough to know that he was alive, but they didn't really keep tabs on what he was doing, which is why when Savannah realized that a Shardalon had flattened Silverthorn, she was um a little upset. I called upon uh, sorry. Uh, Skexis, yeah, he yeah was, you guys are right now in Silverthorn right now, looking at the damage that he did. Like he just, like a Shardalon had just gone berserk in that city. Um, your minions and your iron, your newly built iron golems are helping people out there, rescuing people who can be rescued. I stare at Skessix. Yeah. Not a word, just looks him right into his eyes. Yeah. Oh boy. Sup? Sup? <laughs> you. After all this, your response is sup? 
I'm have you realized say. what kind of damage a Shadowlon has done? He says, he says, I am not, uh, I am aware of what he did. And no one ever kept an eye on him? Ever? When you we come to me with the plan, I would expect you to have more than just get randomly giving a drop of blood and just completely let it ran loose. Hey, Trista says, my lady, before I gave him the drop of blood, what I did was I took a look into his future. I used my divination to learn what his destiny was. This was his destiny. He gestured to around at the devastation. That's even better. You knew this beforehand, and you never really told me. Good point. I looked at Skeksis, and I was like, I can tolerate most of the stuff. I can let you do experiments, let you uh, stay with me, uh, so we can help each other mutually. I am really thankful for your help, for your service before, but this is where I draw the line. I would not tolerate anyone that hurts my friend's legacy. I did not hurt his legacy. Not directly is also kind of what happened. You knew what this is about to happen, and you never really tell me. That is a lie. I would not tolerate. And I look at him, and I was like, Skeksis, I now banish you from my domain. He says, he nods us. He says, no, it says, history always repeats itself. No, just you. Your people still with me. But just you. He says, he says, I know. History always repeats itself. You're not the first one to object to, the, to my methods. What I do not object to is that you lie to me directly in my face. Would you have agreed to it if you had known this was going to happen? Of course not. So I'm make an insight check. Hmm. Insight. Sweet! Uh, insight, 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 where is her insight? Do 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 be do ba Oh no. Oh okay. no! Nope. no. <laughs> I'm making a really That's poor judgment. That's really good! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus well, Christ. I mean, as far as you know, um, this is what your best guess is. Mm -hmm. That Skeksis, one thing that you know is not in question, and you know this for a fact, is Skeksis' loyalty is not in question. Even if you were to banish him, he'd still be loyal to you. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Yeah. But oh. one thing that you, you're not sure about is you think, you're pretty sure he's working, he, was, he thought he was working in your best interest. It's just that what he and you define as your best interest is completely different. Hmm. Okay. I... Hmm. Shit, I already banished him. I was about to ask him why he... No, he's not left. He hasn't left yet. He's kind of just standing. He's just yeah. staring out at the devastation. Yeah. Just drinking it in. I was like, why would this benefit me at all? Why would all this benefit me at all? Because a Shardalon was supposed to die here. He didn't. Supposed to. He lived. He defied fate. He defies it with every breath he takes. Ah, oh, shit. That's that it. is what oh, you're... Shit. Oh, that God, is your that is your blood, my lady. Oh fuck me. Yep. So hard. That is that is your blood. That and is now I shall reclaim it. And I will 
I will tap into the force of my blood and try to restrain a Shadowlon if I could. If that's possible. All right, make an Arcana check. Let's see if you can find him first. Okay. Arcana check. Damn, we needed a chance. <laughs> 35. <laughs> Holy shit. You found him. Yep. You found him. You realize, when you tap into it and you realize where he is, you realize that a Shardalon had suffered a serious injury that should have killed him. He had his heart carved out of his chest. Oh, right. With your check, you are, you first realize that he is currently in the process of cramming a beholder inside of his chest. And not a beholder, sorry, a bowler demon yeah. inside of his chest to serve as his new heart. He is in the ritual process, right? Right. I cast a wish spell. Okay. Hoping the ritual to fail. Now, as you cast that spell, a Skeksis realizes what you're doing. And then he immediately turns and says, My lady, don't! But it's a little late. Yep, I already finished it. You finished the wish spell. But uh, you're not sure what happened. You're not sure if it's a success or not. Mm hmm. All right. I mean, you know that the wish spell. Uh, you, you know you cast your wish. You're not sure if the ritual failed or not. Mm hmm. Can I tap into my blood to see if that's possible? Make a second. Yeah, make a second arcana check. Twenty-four. Ooh. That is based so on this perfect. check. Really bad. You you basically sabotaged it. Okay. He got the baller inside of him, but it's not enough. He's going to eventually need more. Okay. I, hmm, from my assessment through the Arcana checks, uh, Arshadalon is probably really powerful right now, right? Yeah. How he powerful is. is he? Like, from a He's scale of not. 1 to 30, how, how, what kind of challenge <laughs> level is he? <laughs> what, what, <laughs> tier, yeah. what tier list is Arshadalon on? Is he top tier? Yeah. He's one below you. Seriously? Uh, is, what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, a, an ancient red dragon is CR twenty four. He's CR twenty five with that <laughs> thing and stuff. That with with his both his Wait. magical skill and the power. Oh, he is CR twenty five. He is the same challenge level as I am. Oh, Ooh, oh! I can't wait well, to fight that final boss. Yep. Yeah, he is cram. Yeah, like I said, he's got uh, he's got <laughs> wizard skill. He's got he's a ninth. He's a full on twentieth level wizard. He's got a Balor now stuffed inside of his chest, and he's drawing on its power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> so the witch the ritual went wrong. So he will need refuel on the power, right? No, not necessarily. Um, not necessarily. The ba the Balor's labor is now not going to be enough. Okay. He's going to need more. <sighs> And if you remove that drop of blood, that will. If you remove, if you are, you are able to remove the blood from him, but that will increase the speed at which his uh, degeneration. Yeah, I would actually. Hmm. Fucking hell! I don't know what to do. Actually, <laughs> zero damage. Yeah, no damage at all. Uh, I will look at Skeksis and just say, we have created a monster. <sighs> <laughs> Step, yep, steps onto the party. Nothing. He doesn't know <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> No, Skeps completely right. Yeah, Asharlon probably yeah. takes a dump and we all died. <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. Yep. That's it. Uh, but. I will say to Skeksis, and I was like, I will. You said history repeats itself. Yes. But has history ever offered you a second chance? He says no. Then hereby I defy history and offers you a second chance. Find me Either. anything. That I can use to destroy our Shadowlon. He's going to say. He's just going. To, he's going to say. A Shadowlon will eventually have to find what you did to him. His, he may your attempt to sabotage his ritual. It's going to cause his body to to collapse on itself. He's going to need ever increasing amounts of life force. 
eventually he's going to look for a source of life so pure that nothing can kill him. Oh. That won't happen, of course, but it will keep his failing body going. He will still be able to die. And there is... And yes, I should... And don't worry. We can empower adventurers to do it for, to do the dirty deed for us. No. I want... I just think of a one better thing. Find me what? where Ivar is. Where is Ivar? So, um... Um, Skeksis opens an office way, but then he tilts his head for a moment. Like, he's listening to something, he says, and then he says, I don't know where Ivardi is, but I think we can predict Ashardalon's next move, or what he's planning, what he'll have to do in the future. All right. And we can take advantage of this to kill him. Because when he's dead, when Ashadalan is dead, he will be beyond the reach of anyone. No. And we can bring him back to life at our convenience. No, we don't need to do that. We just need Ivard <laughs> and Ashadalan fights against each other at the same time. That is true. Solving two problems with one stone. No, it just says, we will look for Ivard. We don't know where he is, but we know where he can be. Ivard likes to answer questions for people, and he demands high prices in return. Oh, boy. Prices so we know, we're, we know where he likes to... <clears throat> We know where he likes to answer his questions. <laughs> we'll keep eyes, we'll keep tabs on them. We'll make sure, see where he will most likely turn up. Hmm. All right. So, uh, out of character speaking, uh, now we <clears throat> know where our Charlon, Ske Skeksis knows where our Charlon is going to present himself next. Yeah. We know Ivar's behavior. So, yes. as a player i'm asking you as a dm uh can sylvana uh do a like descending or a manifest to a certain location you want you want to place you want to place the bay essentially yes uh, so yeah and well here's here's uh, what skexis has found out a shardalon needs it will eventually is going to be relying on devouring forces of life you know, things like basically draining fountains of youth dry to keep himself going because the valor inside of him isn't going to be able to keep him keep his failing body mm -hmm. from going forever after what you did. Yep. Eventually, a Shardalon is going to find stumble across a place called the Bastion of Unborn Souls. It's an enormous crystalline space that exists outside of usual space-time. It's the place that produces the souls of everyone who is yet to be. Oh. He's going to go there... And will eventually, and will try to devour pre-incarnate souls if he can mm -hmm. to keep his failing body going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Gexus knows this, so and he's more than willing to. He's going to be trying. In addition, if he can't get, um, if he can't try to lure, he knows what you're asking, though, and he will certainly be working with his knock, but to try to plant clues to try to mi mix, the, make the two mix. Yeah. But if that can't work, he's going to do the next best thing. He's going to plant clues that will lead adventurers to a shot on so they can kill him once and for all. Yeah, that's the backup plan. But the pri yeah. primary plan, I would like to, I would like him to set out rumors of a enormous power source that could sustain life, and that would mm. lead to uh, where I like I have many safe havens so I that will lead to one of my safe havens and I will also uh, have him reveal the clues to Ivar's you know to try to spread the word so that Ivar would heard that it is actually well, so. well my lady if you can we can keep we'll keep a closer eye on a shot alarm but I think we can manipulate him to go to Avard for answers. That could also be one of the solutions, but... And then when they're meeting, we just drop in 
you take over Ashi, and then that might work. <laughs> Call it a one point five of a plan. Exactly. All right. <laughs> in the meantime, in the meantime, he just looks out at the city. And he just sighs, he says, you do this for so long, you forget there's a cost to all of this. It's because there are distance, there are always distance to whoever plays the chess. Mm. The player is never the pawn. It used, he says, yeah, he says, yes, indeed. It used to be, we before we met you, this is what we do. We'd raise kingdoms the way a farmer would raise cattle. We'd raise them up, we'd have them cultivate knowledge, and then we'd bring them low and harvest their knowledge from the ruins. This is the first time I've actually felt bad about this. Remember that feeling. And never, ever do it again. I will not. And with a little luck, we won't need to. And that's where we'll stop for the night. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I yeah. knew Savannah would screw up eventually. I knew it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, being a god's hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's no not excuse. Not but yeah. It's not an easy job. I know Savannah is going to Savannah it. But yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, she's new to this whole god thing. She's going to be making mistakes. You know, yeah, it's it's a learning process. With mistakes I'm comes so, I'm death. I'm still thinking, what's ha what have been Viral and you know Alexander been doing? Yeah, uh, well, I was I was hoping them make a comeback or yeah. something. Well, I was we gonna have I... it. Well, we're gonna have another prologue at some point in the future, mm -hmm. uh, similar to the way we introduced Savannah meeting the Nagpa. Oh. But I was think I was I thought that we are doing it this session. Sorry, maybe I'm mistaken. No, but last time I no, it's a di different prologue. Oh, okay. let me explain. Yeah. You remember the little prologue that we had like a couple so many sessions ago where Savannah met the Nagpa? Mm -hmm. Yes. We're going yeah. to have something like that. Not next session, but sometime in the future, we're going to have that. Nice. And it will be about Alexander Anderson. Mm -hmm. Saving the yeah. best for last. I yeah. understand. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah, right now. <laughs> Yeah, I know Justin's the only one who knows what uh, what capacity Viral will appear in. Mm -hmm. He's the only one who knows the plan for it. Yeah. And well, is, uh, I, I mean, at some at some point, I may if that prologue is coming up, I may want to send you a couple messages because I have some <laughs> questions and some I some feelings that I feel like what Alexander would be like in the afterlife. At least to Damn, a certain I have, extent. I have to answer I'll, that. I'll throw, I'll throw, I'll throw, I'll throw them your way, and you can, you know, sh you know, give me the thumbs up or be like, oh, yeah. let's, you know, let's go right ahead. Send them whenever you're ready. But um, yeah. yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Um, by the way, um, uh, Robin, you remember? Have you ever seen uh, the Helsing anime? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I never. Sorry, I never seen it. Uh, but my friends recommend it. I seen the trailer, but yeah. The, have you which, seen uh, the yeah. Team Four Star? Helsing Ultimate Abridged. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry. There's, really a, there's, a, there's an abridged. I have seen it, but uh, yeah. I'm curious. No, but what basically, yeah, you know the premise behind the Helsing anime, though, right? Yeah, it's sort of. Uh, basically, it's more like uh, Castle Raven. Well, sorry, Ca Castlevania and kind of style. Like, uh, am I getting this right? Yep. Uh, yeah, the you are. Let, me, and, let me explain. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Exactly. Let me explain. Um, in England, there's a vampire hunting organization called Helsing. It's mm -hmm. the descendants of Dr. Abraham van Helsing. Yeah. They have, they didn't kill Dracula. They kidnapped him and they forced him to work for them. Mm -hmm. They use him to help them hunt vampires and other supernatural threats. Mm -hmm. He's named Alucard, right? Like, uh, yeah, yes. Alucard is Dracula uh, backwards. Yeah. Um, but basically, think of it like that. Uh, Savannah and her followers of the Helsing group, and a Chardelon is Alucard. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's basically you're using we're using this monster that could do and has done a lot of terrible things, but we're trying to use him to do a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we and, can. He might be a monster, but he's your monster. Yeah, basically. Uh, uh, I just so, can't wait to so see. There's so many. I, I will. I, I will. I will say this. That was a good goddamn line. 
uh, uh, the player is never the pawn. I really like that. Line. Oh, I just came out just out of the whim, so yes. I know, Sometimes but it was really happened. good. Thank you. It was it was really good. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, that's that's an awesome session. Uh, All right. So, well, yeah. I'm, I will give you a little hint for what uh, for what Alexander will be doing. Mm-hmm. We will pick up like right after Silverthorn has been flattened. <gasps> uh, oh no! no! Hey. No. Is, is, is it Zazel out this? for some head? Like he was gonna kick someone's ass or something? What okay. happened was this: Alexander showed up, saw the devastate, showed up before Sylvana, saw what happened, and then decided, you know what? I'm getting some answers. Yep. I'm gonna leave some paladins here to handle with this. I'm going to get some answers. He knows who ha- he knows a person. He knows a guy who knows a guy who knows a gold dragon that scries everything, and he thinks that gold dragon might have the answers. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since that gold dragon tried to stop a Shardalon and was absolutely wrecked for her trouble. Yeah. Oh damn! Let's go. Damn. That'll be fun. That'll be yeah, a lot so fun. That will be that will be where we lead off with Alexander. Oh, yeah. We have to be so he has no again, idea right? Sylvana is behind this. Yep. Yeah. Aha! I'm looking forward to the, those two meet. Uh, Alexander was like, quick, did you know Silverthorn's been trashed? And I'll find the culprit. And Sivana yeah, will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> you can do that. Me, I yeah. <laughs> and Alexander will be like, Sylvana! Uh, I can see, Alexander, you? see through your bullshit. I played a whole campaign with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so I was terrible. just gonna ask, did we gain any XP? Yay! For the zombies, XP. yes, you did. That's a good point. Let me find, find that. And I am I should actually start using the proper rules for XP here and not just add it straight up adding them. Let me. Where the heck's my Maybe DM's guide? Maybe. Maybe I don't think so. That um, zombies are not. You're gonna be. Div- we're gonna be dividing them up among four people. Remember. Yeah. 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 We're probably gonna. If we're if we're, if we're, if we're lucky, we that. might. We if we're lucky, we might get to 10k. Yeah. And that's not too bad. Let's hope so. Do do do. I don't think you're getting to 10k. Oh. Oh well. It's okay. Yeah, uh, NPCs. Alright, um. Let me see here. Oh. Yeah, modify to increase one monster multiplier. All monsters there are. One part of all ice people are encountered by the value given in the encounter multiplier tables. Okay, so there were a lot. Nice. Um, so, let me, now that I know how to properly use, now that that's, I uh, see how that works, okay, times eight, plus, uh, <laughs> makes a total of nine monsters, multiplied by the modifier, divide by four, and, yeah, that would make a lot more sense, XP-wise. Each of you gets 1,375. Take it, 1,375. Nice. Okay. Yep. I already know. Robin already typing that up, so I'm just waiting for the calculation. <laughs> yeah. Number, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let me do the calculation. Let's see. Surprisingly, we we Man. actually did hit. We hit 10k actually. Oh, nice. Hey. I have to wait for so long yeah. to be real again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's uh, our score. Win. Yeah. That's it will be it will be oh. worth the wait, don't worry. Yeah, one yeah. I know. Um I was definitely thinking like I don't I don't know why, but I was some for whatever reason I was thinking ahead into another campaign, like possibly a sequel to this one. If you guys mm-hmm. do what I hope you're gonna do. Um <laughs> and you beat and and it's you get the good ending for the campaign, I was thinking a pirate campaign. Yay! Yay! I love love the pirate campaign. I love it. Wizards of the Coast released um, Mm -hmm. rules for boats. Yes, Yes. I've actually, I've been using it in my current campaign, and it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, so I was thinking, you know, a pirate campaign based on that one anime. Mm -hmm. You know, the one about the guy with the, like, 
one guy with freaking powers. <laughs> oh, freaky God. Friends. See, the problem is if we base it on that, it will never end. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, what, what, what are you thinking of? Wait, what anime are you thinking of? I'm thinking what? of One Piece. I was thinking of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Oh, JoJo is not based on water. It's like I'm, only the later part it starts begin with, you know, water. But, but yeah, One Piece works too. Yeah, one but, piece. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, hey, listen, listen. I'm, I'm currently binge watching part five. I'm not gonna say no to JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So who's yeah. gonna be Jonathan? <laughs> Jonathan died, right? Like this? Yeah. Oh, God. So, yeah. Here's the thing. I got attached to Jonathan, and then I haven't watched any of the parts because I was too attached to Jonathan. Yeah. And so, then like, it was like, it was no. really sad. It was really sad. Well, I mean, yeah. then Joseph. I mean, I fell in love with Joseph because his secret technique I know is what you're the say next. His secret, his secret technique is the best. Oh. My one final trick. Yeah. <laughs> my one uh, final trick. Anyways, is this. my other one final trick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I better I better go because I got a big day tomorrow. But All thanks, right. guys. Yeah, I got it. Right. Good, good game, good night. See you guys. Take it easy. Yep, you too. Yeah.